Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Star Lost Seas. I'm Cryolina. I'm your DM, and this is the party. We are still twinkless, unfortunately. Twinkless, twinkless in Seattle. In Seattle. So one of us are in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. I was on it before you. Ha. Huh. I don't He's know why I felt the need to act like we, we, we are not twinkless. Pulse is right here. <laughs> calling you like a twink, like in real life, like the term, not like the name. Oh. Do you know what? Do you need like an Urban Dictionary page about it? No. Or you got it? Okay. <laughs> Pulse dictionary. doesn't care. Pulse doesn't care. I love the one thought page. that Pulse doesn't know what twink really means. Like I love the implication of that. Anyways, uh, last <laughs> time on Starla, is that a Dragon Ball Z scouter? Do the intro. <laughs> Last time on Star Lost Seas, we picked up where we had left off previously uh, with the group having a meal with Kaeli as they prepared for a stealth mission. Uh, Raiden and Twink separated from the party to immediately go handle anti-magic field prep with what little devices Raiden still has. Uh, while the birds stayed with Kaeli and Alina to talk, and the rest of the group went to speak to Nyx, the mother of Lotus and Dolis, uh, because she has various information uh, about where they are headed. She does inform you that currently uh, the second roost, so the the second the the village as it's named, the second roost is where uh, is where the nameless and her forces of Star Lost cultists are holed up. Uh, she then directs you to go speak to uh, refugees of that roost specifically to try and get more information, but not before getting uh, Hush pretty pretty riled up to the point that he whipped out the, the Agra Hill voice to try and intimidate her, which only resulted in him getting Eldritch blasted by her. Uh, the whole group sort of had a, a brief standoff before they finally relaxed and separated to go talk to those refugees, who informed them that the second roost uh, was very severely damaged in the battle. Uh, you guys gather that second roost was mostly a farming village, and the attack by the Star Lost was vicious enough that the island itself was damaged. Uh, you also learned that Star Lost Lotus, the Nameless, uh, seemingly only attacks those who are part of combat, leaving civilians alone. Uh, the easiest way to get to the second roost is going to be, if you don't want to get noticed, it's going to be coming from beneath it through some very uh, difficult to navigate drafts of wind. Uh, very bad air currents, as they are described. Meanwhile, uh, Dolis sort of sort of tries to, to get some fresh air away from Kaeli after after they kind of question and discover how far along the genie process they are. And so he enters one of the rooms, the room in uh, the room he has a key for that looks like a 1905 hotel room in like New York. As he enters, he discovers that it would seem to be whoever is here is writing out the adventures of Philotus and Dolis, the adventure novella series that they got their names from. They are currently writing an entry uh, talking about the fictional Dolis uh, fighting against a, a seemingly evil copy of his sibling. Uh, and the entry drops off right before the resolution, not revealing what choice this fictional Dolis made. Uh, Dolis leaves behind a quick little note for whoever is on the other side of the door, uh, saying that they deserve a happy ending and then returns back into the room, only for Kaeli to then ask to speak to him privately after making several, several comments about how he shouldn't make pacts and deals with other beings. Uh, she then confronts him about his fey deal, that whenever he wears the mask, his emotions turn off and only logic is in control. Uh, 
He seemingly does not approve and insists that the thing that made Dolis better than all of her other warlocks was the fact that he was compassionate and cared for people even if they were his enemy. Sort of sitting on that information, the rest of you return. And you talk all sorts of plans and things you could do for the siege, but you decide that you're not going to really be able to plan too significantly until you know exactly what you're up against. And if you wait long enough for you all to get a long rest, there is a good chance that the Nameless will have had time to heal and sleep and get a long rest of her own. So you all prepare to head out uh, for a stealth mission to the second roost. Dolis, during this hour-long short rest, steps away so that he can go speak to Nyx, uh, essentially telling her to leave Hush and all of you alone, and that she only continues to live because he doesn't care about her, to which she counters, if you don't care about me, why are you here talking to me now? Uh, they kind of go back and forth for a bit before Dolis eventually, in frustration, steps away and then begins shape-shifting and disguising himself as random uh, sort of Aarakocras and members of the Roost, speaking to them about various things which we are currently not privy to. Uh, during that time, Lotus, Hush, Annie, and uh, Hickory all talk about the Nameless, with Lotus sort of struggling on whether Lotus should be on Team Kill the Nameless or Team Save the Nameless and all of you putting in your various levels of input. Finally, you all gather out front to leave and Kaeli gives Lotus a, uh, a bag to wear on her back, just a small little pouch like yay big that rests between her shoulder blades uh, that is marked with runes that keep Lotus from becoming elemental mist here in the plane of air. Uh, it is also a functional little baggie. Uh, so naturally, Annie and Hush fill it with lemon bars and you all take off and that was where we ended our last session and we will pick up with you all on your way to the second roost yeah yeah, yeah noah you had I, you lift your hand because i just i realized something in the recap we were told mm -hmm. specifically to go talk to nix because she has so much information about everything that's going on and we talked to her and she knew fuck all like she she knew one thing and then she was like i don't know anything else Go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, I, I think that's fucking hilarious. Fair. You could have gone straight to the refugees. We could have. Had to talk we could have. Uh, Hush wouldn't have gotten shot. True. I could have. I still could have gotten shot. You might have still gotten shot. <laughs> I'm so shit. What were you going to say to the refugees to make them shoot you? <laughs> oh, I could have just been like, hi, my name is Hush. And they wouldn't have been like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like Dolus with the rat. They said what Annie did. You guys are refugees, right? <laughs> 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 um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think if right, you're homeless off, else and too much. need saving because somebody fucked up your entire shit. It's just like, ah, yeah. I kind of. Anyway, we'll so let's start up. the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we begin with you guys in transit to the second roost. It's uh, it's darker now than when you flew in a few hours ago. It's like four hours ago that you flew in now, but so it is darker. Lotus and Dolus, you would know that there is there's not like a sun here in the plane of air. Like there there is usually not a single light source in any of the elemental planes. The light comes from various other magic or elemental energy leaking through in various ways so like there is light as if it was daytime but you, there is no singular sun that it comes from and it does get darker for a while so you know of the concept of night but like a day night cycle is not proper around here so it is beginning to get darker so the concept of of night is coming to the plane as you guys are taking off it would be like twilight to us at this point the clouds look very, very gorgeous as you're flying along. You guys haven't flown through the elemental plane in years, including when you got here earlier. So this is 
now that you've sort of had time to process everything, this is your first nice flight through. Boiled only by the fact that you know you are going to what could potentially be an incredibly dangerous situation. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's like a gorgeous sunset. All of the various colors splayed out across the clouds as orange and blue and red as far as the eye can see. Uh, caught anyone? A cloud. Uh, <laughs> here he is. I caught him. There he is. I There's one of the acting. clouds. There he is. Don't throw spray him with all sorts you're... of colors. Get That's spray paint. White Make boy. him accurate. Put him. Put barbecue sauce on him. What? He has. But he's a spot of barbecue sauce right here because he got in the <laughs> trash earlier. Oh my god! Is anyone in particular keeping an eye out for anything? Uh, like, do you guys have anybody who's on? Sort of. Okay, the bird. The birds will be keeping an eye out. In I'm case, riding passenger, uh, so like... I guess I can keep out. Keep an eye out too. Okay. Yes, I ain't um, looking. Just can driving. You, can you three, in that case, each make me a survival check? Sure. Oh, boy. Y'all's best not ads. A okay. Ooh. Starting off strong with a 13. Go. 17. 19. Okay. I rolled an even 10. <laughs> 19. Damn. All right. Hit got the highest. <laughs> Shout out to plus threes, baby. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, hold on. Can I? It's a lucky point. <laughs> but no, uh, would it change anything if I pull out a little thingy of of weird ointment that Mara gave me that lets me see better in the dark? Uh, I will say no, because it's not quite dark at this point. Like, it is just twilight, so it would probably be just as easy to see so with that, that on. Guys, that means In, like, that an hour, nothing, that'd be better. Nothing <laughs> is going coming at us from the dark. We don't, have, we don't have to worry about dark vision right now. Thank yeah. you, Ken. Yeah, you don't, have worry, you don't have to worry about the darkness quite yet. <laughs> quite yet. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you, Kay. He got that information out of me without a roll. You can tell he's a DM in his spirit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you guys are flying along, uh, Hickory, you would be the one to notice first as you guys kind of go along. There are all of these various uh, islands up in there. You've seen floating islands at Twink Tanya now, and you've seen them around here. So all the water pouring off and everything you're familiar with. But as you pass by some... There is not a lot of large animal life of any kind that you're coming across. Like, you don't see any of those big sort of raptor birds that you've seen on Twink Tanya. You don't see signs of, like, griffins or rocks Fuck. or anything like that. And, like, it seems like it is all creatures smaller than a person that you are spotting. Uh, Dolus, you are... Uh, you would be the second one to kind of process it is that that there doesn't seem to be a lot of animal life on your route and you having hunted and also being the older of the siblings know that it's not really normal for the elemental plane of air like it's it's pretty populated mm -hmm. like there's a reason all the hunting parties always went out as hunting parties and not alone and right. there's a reason why you didn't stray too far from your roosts and stuff. It's because there's usually a lot of wildlife and some of it's dangerous, but there's nothing, nothing in your path. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, because I already find the way that Twink Tanya works is weird. I wouldn't process this as weird because it's foreign to me in the first place. Fair. So. I'll notice it, but I don't think I have the knowledge to process that it's wrong. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I would like to, as we're getting closer and continuing onwards, specifically not be looking out for uh animals life or like you know like wildlife 
but more for scouts and people who might be patrolling and keeping wildlife out uh, or away from the area we're going towards. Okay. Uh, good to know. Uh, both birds make perception check, active perception checks. I mean, of course, it's active. I'm asking you to make them. <laughs> Natural one. 30. There's a bit of a discrepancy God. between the two. Instead of that the coins. Rolled. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a one, not even a natural one, a natural 20, a, not, a natural one and a 30. And 30. I. Uh, it's a total so of, had, by like, the way, it's a total of uh, four, <laughs> if that makes any difference. <laughs> I had like multiple levels of success, right? Because I was like, I was like, we'll see. We'll see what we get. And it's like, if you guys have gotten in the high teens, you got in a little bit. And if you got over 20, you got a little bit. And then I specifically have another one for if Lotus had rolled stupid high and you <laughs> beat it. By three. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Lotus, as you're flying along, and Dolus is kind of clearly starts looking for, like, more intensely for something or just around. You kind of get the idea that you should keep your eyes out also. Uh, and on an island not too far off to your, uh, to your sort of north direction you see in the rock uh the signs of just big claws or talons gripping and like ripping into a rock like you see you you just see these marks in one you of said these rock islands, twice. edges of one of these islands i did say rock twice i'm sorry <laughs> it's r o c k rock <laughs> R O C K rock making uh marks. Wait, other way around. R O C making you got marks it. R O C K. I haven't been thinking a lot today. R O C K marks so. making rock. <laughs> rock. Cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> Why do they uh, call it oven when you ov in the hot out in of food out, out food. in hot eat? Uh I'll I'll point it out to everybody else. Here's Guys, with Lotus pointing it out, you guys all squint. And uh Dolus, you your passive perception, you're like you're still like, I don't see it, but everybody else is like, oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not even my passive my active, my natural one, active perception. And I have something in my eyes. I'm like oh, I'm Dolus is like Dolus is dealing with a lot. He's kinda he's kinda <laughs> just has a constant little, little tear resting in his eye. <laughs> Be a man. Suck it up. <laughs> I meant like dust, but sure, tears is also fine. <laughs> <laughs> I have like six things that that could be. Okay. Best okay. case scenario is probably a rock. What's That's the a... worst case scenario? No, Crystal we know dragon. it's a rock. There's, uh -huh. there's scratch marks in it. No, like the R O C R O C not R O C K. Oh, like a rock made the indents in the rock. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or, or it could. I kind of looks. Uh, if those are talons, it's probably a rock. If it's not, it's probably it could be a crystal dragon. Lotus, how many toes does it have? Squint. She rolled a third. Make a bro. nature check. Can I the also count the claw marks? <laughs> Yeah, she's not trying to figure out what it is. I'm asking her how many claw marks there are. Can I also determine how, like, large these claw marks are? Yeah, make a, make a nature check for me. We'll see what you can gather. Fourteen. Sick. Fourteen. Uh, from a distance, without getting close to it, because uh, I presume you guys are getting close to it, because none of you said that you were going to head towards it. Uh... You gather, at a glance, it does look like it's talons. It does look like the three, like, bird talons. Uh, which, to your knowledge, the only birds large enough to make that damage in rock like this would be rocks. Would be ROC rocks. Uh, and so it it does track to size and pattern that it's one of those. Um, you, with your really, you do have really high intelligence. Uh, 
with that nature check and your naturally high intelligence, you can probably gather, again, very similar to the sort of shadow you guys saw on your way in, uh, that uh, this is a particularly big one, like, at a glance. Uh, you've only ever seen rocks from a way distance when you were a small child, so in your brain you're like, maybe I'm just misremembering because, you know, I was small and everything seems big when you're small, but then, like, glancing as you're flying, you're like, no, those are really fucking big claw marks. <laughs> So, it's definitely a rock, and it's definitely a big one. Okay, okay. is it the the rock, like the R-O-C, K? Okay. I'm just gonna start saying boulder. The boulder, is it, did it look like something, or is it just like there's a just a boulder with a scratch in it? Uh, from a distance, it just looks like any other island, just with scratches along the edge. Is, are that rocks, like... I guess, like, sharpening their talons or ripping into rocks like a normal behavior that they do? Uh, it is somewhat frequent for you to see rock marks, uh, from just when they're landing, just because of, like, their weight and holding in. But to see it dig in like this, it's probably territorial. It's probably leaving scratches and marks around so that if other creatures show up, they know it's there. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> like, I was waiting for, like, a why is it, is it just scratching there or is it put in? Because if it's put in, it probably means this is its territory. It's, it's, it's the territory. We shouldn't go near that because that's a oh. big rock and it's a territorial rock. And... It could also uh, be... It could also oh, be its on. nest, uh, which is worse. The, where we're going, right? <laughs> it is off to the north, and you guys would be uh, heading west. So it is like way off to your right. So <laughs> you are not going near it or going closer to it. But I was going to say, Dolus, you would know from being a young adult uh, and teen around the time that you were living here. Uh, a rock's territory is massive. Uh, like, the same way in real life, how, like, eagles and lions and alpha predators and that sort of thing, like, apex predators have territories that are, like, hundreds of miles. It's the same thing for, like, rocks. So if, they, if a rock has marked this as its territory, then unless you guys are at the edge, everything, including your roost and what is all ahead of you, is probably part of it. If you can see it, you're fucked. Well, yeah. Uh, hey, well, we're gonna have a hard time avoiding it. It's a uh, rock's territory is very large, so rather than trying to avoid its territory, we probably have a better chance of just trying to sneak through. Like, you mean like, like, like and then I uh, to hush his head, just like tell everyone to stop talking out loud and oh. try and not make as much noise. Don't speak out loud. Okay. Just use me as a as a means of communication. Um, does anybody have oh, any? Mm. I don't know if it would help. Um, you can disguise, but you can't really like change us, can you? Hiding or uh, scent might be a really good thing we could do here. We could all presto. We can't all presto. I can presto, but... I mean, you can no. presto everybody. It's pretty simple. Do you have presto? Yeah. Oh, that's enough. Here. Uh, everybody line up. Me and Andy are going to hide your guys' scents. With us three, because we can have three each. That actually covers everybody. Line up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> everybody <laughs> like... Everybody <laughs> like... Get close. <laughs> yeah, I, get close. I, I stop flapping my wings. I am just floating. I... Yeah, I'll blow down. I am sitting... Presto, on everybody. Just, just smell like breeze. You getting them with the Febreze fresh air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just smell like clouds and breeze. And you just vacuumed your living room, but before the candle kicks in, so you just Febreze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, so you you sort of breeze everybody up. Uh, are you guys doing anything else while you're taking this quick little moment to to prepare yourself for potentially encountering? 
this thing. How far away are we from the, the rock rock? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> the rock rock the or boulder? the boulder? The, the island the that you are far away from. Hey, you guys are maybe like a half a mile away from it. It's a, it's a good distance away. You should maybe possibly try not to be in such open air. I know it's really hard for us to do that, but possibly if we can swivel between trees and go past islands. Being open in an air is a big chance for us to get caught. Especially rocks who look for prey up in the air unsuspecting so they can swoop in. But also if the rock is somewhere perched on an island, us getting closer to the island would be a bad idea. That is also true. So it's just kind of a uh, Cryo, what I know, do rocks like hunt by flying and like looking down or do they like survey, like stay? Do they camp uh, or do they, they scout? Rocks yeah. will either, uh, <laughs> rocks will either post up if they're going to rest or if they have recently eaten. Or uh, if which they are it looking... is getting close to night's time to rest. Yeah. Or if they are looking for food, they will fly high up above like clouds and they will watch and listen for food, and then they will dive on it. Well, it's getting closer to night, so there's a good chance if there's a rock, well, well, that there is a rock, and it is perched to rest for the night. So we should probably stay away from islands. That's fair. And we maybe, can... maybe some of us can keep an eye out for the islands themselves and some of us can keep an eye out for if there is one hunting we should all just keep a good good eye around us especially someone towards the sky if one hasn't eaten today it's probably up top I agree you look up <laughs> and there's a rock <laughs> it's not it's not you a bird like... it's an actual rock just falling <laughs> Rocks fall. it's a fucking fall. meteor everyone does <laughs> Rocks fall and everybody's ever. like, no, he's dropping stones on us. And I'm like, no, the rocks bird. fall. <laughs> the the rocks fall on us. No. It's the ultimate plot twist. I think I, I think I should do that one day. Not today, yeah, though. Man. No, you woke up everything. <laughs> Not <fine>. today, though. <laughs> uh, I will say now, as you guys take off. So are you going to be trying to avoid the islands? Sure. Yeah. Everybody make me a group stealth check. Uh, with advantage because you are being quiet and you are pressed oh, out to God, that was a what? Thank God for advantage. <laughs> Noah, did you roll two ones? Uh -uh. Oh my God, my stealth is really good. Look at that. Not far off though. When did that happen? Uh, all right. <clears throat> We'll just go top to bottom here. I don't even know Noah, how, what'd you get? Uh, how I... Three? <laughs> Total? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this is Are a physical you fucking role. screaming? You, you <laughs> numbers for it, right? Because you're Doc's body. It doesn't matter. They have the same oh. number. <laughs> okay, good to know. Three. Uh, awesome. After that, Lotus? 24. You're right, Dolus? 19. I don't even know how mm -hmm. I fucked this up. I'm on Annie's broom. 12. I wow. might have something to do with it. Hush. <laughs> 28. Uh, the three of you who are sort of naturally used to flying. Hush, you're also being carried, so it's really easy for you to be quiet and keep yourself sort of aerodynamic. Yeah, it's really easy for me to be quiet. You just don't I whistle. like to imagine that uh, Annie is flying at like high speeds and is like holding her hat above her head, but the like f the brim of it keeps like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flapping exactly. like, in the wind. It's slapping Hickory in the face. Dude, say, like that, that's like exactly it. The three of you who are used to flying, <laughs> you your your clothes have so you've sort of adjusted to keep your body at a way that is aerodynamic, so your clothes don't flap and stuff doesn't dangle. But Annie has long flowy outfits and a big hat and hickory is in a body that is not her own in heavy gear i collapsed my armor already hickory has the hickory hiccups armor hickory has the hiccup 
I was gonna say, uh, as you're going along, uh, Hickory, you kind of do like a little stretch and like a yawn just slips out, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> There they go. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! You just look at the idea, you're just like, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Lotus Dolus, with your high perceptions and both of you keeping your eyes out, make both of you make me perception checks. It's awesome. I don't Again. have a high perceptions. So I don't know why I'm making this roll, but I'll do it. <laughs> Our average was above average. True. It's true. Uh, 10. <laughs> 24. Nice. Probably uh, Lotus. Bad time to fail. There's, there's that one sound that sneaks out from your group and you're like, that can't be enough. That totally can't be enough. So you start looking around just to be sure. Enough. Uh, you do not see a rock. Oh, uh, but you do, do, do see on an island not too far from you guys, seemingly not having noticed you guys yet, uh, but sort of stirred by a sound nearby. A griffin. <laughs> you motherfucker. Sort of the trees and started looking around in, in sort of shock. It will spot you guys soon if you don't if you don't stop or hide. I telepathically tell Hush to tell everybody to stop griffin towards whatever direction that is. Ah, uh, it's to your left. So south. Oh, get yeah. closer. No, the, No, the, get closer to me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Get closer to it. Get closer. <laughs> Griffin, four o'clock. No, wait. Hey, yeah, Griffin, three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, noon. Okay. Well, where are we going? We're, we're getting closer to Annie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, invisibility should get everybody because I'm a warlock. Oh, what? yeah. What? Six people? What? What? Five people. Five people. Wait, no. Yeah, five. Alina's not with us. No. Is that? No. Yeah, it is just you five. What? And... How is... I thought... What are you using? Yeah, how are you doing this? Where is this? Brother, if you just upcast it, you can cast... Oh, you just upcast it. Oh, yeah. You're just casting invisibility. Because she's a warlock, so she can only cast it at her high That's true. Okay, yeah. I got it now. Above second, which should be... You yeah, all turn invisible. Five, yeah, exactly yeah, five. You all turn invisible. For some reason, I forgot There's you like could cast little... invisibility. You guys can't even see each other now. So there's just like the quiet, the very quiet sound of Lotus's wings flapping because Dolus floats when he stops moving. You know, like, and, 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 and he's like, everyone come over here. And then all I just, from my perspective, all my friends disappear. <laughs> so I'm just like, um. And like in Hush's head, like we're all still here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just keep going straight. All right. Do we want to like? Hickory. Yeah. Shut up this time. <laughs> Don't okay. yawn. Didn't you already uh, have a Griffin like mis mishap? Shut up, Hush. What I happened there? The whole context. I just know you lost fingers. You lost oh. some fingers. Well, Doc lost some fingers, and by proxy, Hickory lost some fingers. Mm. Having a having a Griffin would be cool. Yeah. That's How did that that's what Doc thought. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean it'd be cool, but like I would never try. That's so, what Doc didn't think. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Dole, let's make a nature check real quick. Oh, things this Griffin's up. friendly. <laughs> This Griffin is 20. domesticated. Natural it is your buddy. For 25. <laughs> 25? Natural Let's go. About to Let's go. Uh, this Griffin, when it, the reason it was so on edge and peaked up like that, you can tell immediately, is not because it is hunting. Like, it did not hear that yawn and be like, ooh, food. It is horrified. Like, it is on edge from something and you it can tell hunted oh yeah. uh and it looks around i'm gonna wait the the i'm gonna, I'm gonna in, in hush's head everyone to tell everyone to stop moving stop moving everyone the perfect time to domesticate a griffin is when it's scared obviously 
That's no. a bad it, idea. You think it's gonna just, go after us if it just can't see wait us? and watch? It did not roll super well on this decision. Uh, uh oh. It kind of glances around. It doesn't see anything, and you watch it smell a few times into the air. Uh, and then it really, really scarily silently takes off. Like it just steps off of this rock and just like. And that's all you hear is that one, that first flap. And then it just glides away quietly. And you guys like watch it very sneakily hug some of these islands as it's sort of flying away from you at an angle. And you guys have a moment of just like, all right, where is it going? What's it doing? It's really quiet. And then at one point it gets to the distance that it's it's small now. Like you guys are, it's finally sort of alleviating all of you that you're like, all right, we're away from this thing. And as it goes past some of these islands and everything and past some clouds, uh, Lotus, you're the one who gets the best view because of just your perception. Uh, but it is so fast that none of you gather entirely what happens. A massive streak of feathers just comes out of a cloud and slams into this griffin and you hear one loud shriek from it and then a very distant crunch and this streak doesn't stop moving it gets this griffin and then just keeps diving into more clouds and is just gone <laughs> no all right now we can free. go uh, what, what, this time. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that no nope. what, what? it's it just kind of how things are here Start it was life, huge uh, yeah. You want to say words yeah. like to It was huge. That's why we're invisible. We're not going to hold a sermon for it. It just <laughs> was sad. We're not going to hold a sermon for it. Just be sad. <laughs> just be. I love that phrase. <laughs> Wonderful advice from us. <laughs> uh, Dolus Lotus. Lotus, again, you've only seen rocks from a distance. But Dolus, you especially. That motherfucker was huge. Like, that is the biggest you have ever seen. It was, to put this into perspective for all of you, that thing's wingspan is bigger than Lorelei's. Like, this Damn. rock could probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an adult dragon. <laughs> How big is Lorelei's? Well, it's several hundred feet. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I'm like, this thing was, was gargantuan. <laughs> And it was silent. It just grabbed that thing and was gone. You hope. The frog. They're so great. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Yeah. yeah For those of going. you who aren't from the elemental plane of air, that was the most horrifying thing you've ever seen. A bird I I the size. Altered. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, the bird the size of, like, a fucking a city block just, a, like, snatched a griffin like it was a squirrel and then kept flying. Is this another oh, one fine. of those moments to where D Aldrich just, like, Hush, you're probably like, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, if Hush is like, oh, that's sad. That's kind of cool, though. Like, Aldrich saw that and then just, uh, just gone. <laughs> as, we, oh, as, we could, as we continue flying, Hush is just like, Dockery? Hicker Doc? Doc. If nope. you want to, if you, if you want, want, I'm just talking to Doc. Okay. Yeah, I he can, can just talk to the other side. I can just oh, talk to Doc. That's right. If, if you want a griffin, you have to go through like a lot of training. Yeah, I, I got that. And I mean, wild ones are. They're very, they're very, they're very gentle creatures, but also very territorial and smart. So you gotta be smarter than a griffin. Yeah, I got that when it ate my fucking hand, Hush. Is this the time to talk about that? We got a lot of time. Oh, am I being too loud? <laughs> Hush really I was just giving you solace that... Hush really said, "Be smarter, El Bozo." Like, yeah. That's crazy. yeah, he's not even. I was just saying, like, there is time. <laughs> there, you could possibly get a Griffin in the future because you said you wanted one. I'd love to. Yeah, 
just just for the future you just gotta get a trained one or go through the process yeah yeah <laughs> next time i'll make sure to not look away for even a quarter of a second yeah don't uh, never do that with a wild animal and don't smile at them either okay noted So, uh, with you guys' average stealth score and being invisible, uh, you do not drag the ire of this rock as you fly through its territory. Fucking thunder also, it's got a new snack to, to munch on, so you are oh. presumably safe for the foreseeable future as you fly along. No, oh, oh, Gertrude, yeah. I named it already. I don't know, man. I think a griffin, probably like six or seven feet long... I, I like the think, size of a big horse. I think that I, was just the equivalent of that thing, just like popping a mint. I don't know. Griffins are they're large sized creatures. They got yeah. they got they got. Griffins, yeah, Griffins the size, size of like a big horse. That's like if a skyscraper ate a car. You know, actually, you got a point. It's a big. I don't know, man. Griffin. Sometimes you eat a donut and you're full. Like that's yeah. just how life works. It's like a chicken wing. Like, sometimes I can get full on chicken wing. How filling is a griffin? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, to your knowledge, can I make a history check? <laughs> no. To your knowledge, if a if a rock is eating a griffin, it's probably going to be fed for several days. Wow, I'm glad I have that very specific knowledge. <laughs> you, bro, these are a real threat to you when you live here. <laughs> yeah, I just like I, I'm glad that in my in our knowledge gathering about these creatures, we know how fed it'll be <laughs> from each meal that it eats. <laughs> can you tell me that so that I can add it to the the, the library of weird shit? I don't know, man. Did you I'm, ask? Yeah. No. I'm just telling you that that griffin was like a Pringle, and I feel like that rock is in a state of once you pop, you can't stop. Hey, man, I don't know if it's... Uh, you're, I feel I, like you're really underselling how big the griffin is. Like, it's uh, yeah. not like the size... To better, like to a, better sell the size owner. difference, it's <laughs> like if I ate a burger. It's like this okay. size difference. Okay. Like, it's not It's not like it. It's not like you the griffin said was its yay wingspan big. wingspan was like massive, several yeah. hundred feet. Like well, Yeah, but yes. like... An eagle's wingspan is like the size of a person. It doesn't mean that it's eaten like a fucking KFC bucket. Oh, That's anyways. true. And e eagles can have like 10 foot wingspans. We and then they eat like a fish. <laughs> Presumably. Let's, we, we, we could move past this. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need we, to talk about how filling no. the griffin was. Cryo always How many calories was that griffin? I love that oh, we're still it's like we're head. debating. It's like we're debating this, but Cryo already told us that we're good and that it's not gonna attack us. 14,600 calories. That's a lot it's of calories. Pulse, is fit. Pulse hasn't said a goddamn word. Pulse has just been making reaction faces in the, the corner of the He's like sick of us and I like of all Go forward! Please! <laughs> Do you know how it feels? Do you remember when we got thrown in the fucking ocean? Shin! No! <laughs> Fucker! Please Stop! Just go. Stop! So. <laughs> you got. False. Eventually, invisibility runs out. Or, wait, no. Regular invisibility has a long ass it's time. It's like an hour, isn't it? An hour. It's an hour, unless you do an hour? that ends it. So, you guys, you guys would get. Uh, for those of you with your lovely map knowledge, you guys would get nearly two, uh, two second roost before invisibility finally flickered out and you reappeared. Uh, at this point, it is dark. Uh, it is, it is like as dark as a moonlit night, but there is no moon and there are no stars. That is just the air goes. There goes the dark vision goo. The, the ointment on my eyes. Mara remains via the <laughs> ointment. Uh, I'm gonna presto as many people's clothes as I can just to black. Help us stealth a little go. bit better. My clothes are already black. <laughs> perfect. I, I just, I just, Damn. I just Advance <laughs> of black. Hell that yeah. were, that's perfect. That's three prestos. It goes to it goes to Hickory, it goes to Lotus, and it goes to you. And the other two oh, are wait, already wearing but black. But I can just put on Doc's mask of many faces. Motherfuck. You presto, I... you and Lotus. <laughs> I uh, use I, I I put uh, the the ointment on my eyes and then I like sort of pull my cloak forwards and like pull the hood up and then I use 
my ability to alter myself to just make my skin hair eyes everything just like mm. pitch black like it is just like you're looking at a silhouette Olus looks at you and it's just eyes out of just like a dark silhouette <laughs> kind of haunting <laughs> that's terrifying what is he speaks and you just see his teeth and it's some ah! it, it's ah! even worse <laughs> ah. No, it's not. You can't feel. That's not fair. Cool. Let's go. Hickory has just basically donned the same stealth outfit that Doc did when we went to go save Rose. I think is when yeah. that happened. Yeah. So, all of you are in your your stealth gear now. As you're up, uh, and way up in the distance now, a few miles away. You do see uh, light from fires on an another island. Rock. <laughs> another rock. This and another rock. And another griffin. Fire. If we spot uh, someone, we could I could make us look like them, and we could infiltrate and start asking questions. All of us look like them? Yeah. Maybe we just, for now, go with the stealth approach of just going unseen but if we're in a position where we need to be seen we look like we blend in mm -hmm. okay uh do you guys remember the information you were told about sneaking up on this place yeah either nope. abo uh, above for best vantage point below for best stealth mm -hmm. and then there's, there's the wins. The remains of the town are in a higher elevation of what the farmland where yeah. they're probably camped out. So go to the town. And there is really bad wind underneath the island. Yeah. Fuck it, we ball. We got nothing to lose. Except We're going our lives. From below. You guys, you guys all dive to approach from below. So below. Sick. Love that. One uh, shot. the three. The three of you who are actively flying, uh, you guys sort of sort of dive in and, and let these air currents take you. Uh, I need you to make dex checks. How is my floating affecting this? Uh, you would still need to make a dex check. The wind is the wind is messing check with you. Check or save? Check. Because you are cool. expecting this wind because you asked about it. 22. Nice. 19. 16? Perfect. You are none of you are like buffeted off of anything or knocked aside. Annie struggles a bit more than the birds who are used to are used to Shit. hopping on air currents. <laughs> yeah, it's basically it. like when your car has a rough patch of road and you're like, oh, okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> and Annie, don't go directly <laughs> opposed to the stream. Try and ride through it. I use extra weight. Oh, oh. <laughs> Granted, it's a broom, so the oh shit handle is also the thing she's riding on. But Hickory's holding. The oh shit handle equivalent of the broom. <laughs> yeah. Grip. <laughs> Death grip on Annie and on the broom. <laughs> Don't grip that. Grip me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's up? It's not helping. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. You guys are able to just swoop in through these islands. Uh. Lotus, make an active perception check. Ooh, but it's dark with disadvantage. <gasps> I have dark vision. Never mind. Oh, you do. Oh, you've goggles. Never mind. I do have goggles. Yeah. It's dark as shit no for me. No disadvantage. 27. Guys, can I see anything because I have Mara's cream on my face? Oh. What? Yay. You can, but your perception is not this good. <laughs> okay. What you roll? Hey man, you made me do a perception check earlier. I'm just checking. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? What'd you roll, Ray? Twenty-seven. All right. And you did it all without any Mara's cream. Uh, <laughs> Mara lives on. Mara lives on through his cream, bro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> And you can too. Make sure to donate. What? It's Blood. just cream. It's just cream, baby. Uh, Lotus, as you are sort of 
riding these air currents, you do spy uh, out on some smaller islands, some various people who are definitely keeping watch. Uh, they're hidden pretty well, kind of difficult to see, but you you do you do point them out, and they definitely are not noticing you. <laughs> are we still invisible? No, but you guys all put on your stealth outfits. So, and I'm like, you guys are definitely very, very hard to fucking see in the dark. So all of you kind of just whoomp along these air currents and pull up and ride a current that takes you just sort of up. Dolus and Lotus, you... As you guys are going off, this island was clearly all two or three pieces before. Very similar to yours, because your roost is like one big island with three or four smaller ones sort of attached to it via roots or bridges and that sort of thing. This one was something similar, but now there is one large island, uh, and then there is what you are currently flying up towards, which is now just ripped into chunks. Some the size of a house, some much smaller, like and then wherever that last island was, it is now just like a debris field of oh. rocks and boulders floating around. Like, whatever happened in this fight just ripped this place apart. Uh, and as you guys ride this current up sort of past all of this debris and everything, uh, none of you bump into anything or, like, collide with anything. You all sort of just breeze through. And you come out to what would have been the top, and you are in what would have in the village uh and it is now just ruins there are one or two houses that are still mostly intact on these sort of tilted chunks of island uh but you also see buildings that are like ripped into pieces and you see some that are like sliding off of slopes you float out onto what would have been the road and like cobblestones and stuff are still floating along while others have just sort of ripped apart into chunks. You are you are in the ruins of this village that is just empty and desolate as you fly up. Uh, you guys can land on any of these sort of structures and everything. And you, as you all sort of land and get situated and you can take a moment to kind of breathe and gather, like, <laughs> what, you, what you saw, what you didn't see, if anyone saw you. It's it's also your first moment to breathe where you haven't been flying in several hours. So for Dolus and Lotus, this is a good moment for you. Your Eric Hawker can fly for a long time, but that doesn't mean it's not tiring. Just like how humans can walk for like the entire day. It doesn't mean you don't get tired. So probably a nice moment to land and be like, oh. Uh, yeah, just look out beneath you, maybe a quarter of a mile away. And I have this shoddily drawn up sort of map of it. You guys would be in the top left looking down at this. Uh, you'd be off of this little map that I'm about to put in private talks. Uh, but it's just it's just sort of this. Each of those little uh, brown squares are tents. Then there's one big long tent. There's a strangely shaped one on a little island. And then each of those big darker brown things is some kind of ship or skiff, like a platform almost. Uh, and you gather from what you know, that those are probably airships. Fuck. currently docked. Uh, as for what the other shapes are, the big gray awkward shapes are rocks. Uh, you can't tell what those lines in the top right are. You just see sort of rows of something over there. And then all of the little gray slashes between the ships, you guys just see from your angle, it just looks like gray lumps in the dark. Yes, Kay? So, our airship has a big old balloon on top, right? Mm-hmm. I spent a little bit of time at the airship dock in Saracen. Mm -hmm. Could I have picked up or like seen how do like normal airships work? 
like without the mm. airships without big balloons on top. <laughs> Uh, normal airships, your airship also, it works somewhat with levitation magic. That's normally airships are so difficult to manufacture and function because they work entirely off of levitation magic. Uh, so you don't know exactly, Twink might know exactly how they function, but you do know briefly from talking to that guy in Saracen that it's, your airship is weird. It's not normal for them to have balloons uh, it's not normal for them to... They don't even usually look like a ship. Like, from the docks that you saw at Altairi and the airship that you saw. They look more like... It's like the difference between a pirate ship and, like, a New York barge. Like, nowadays. It's like, they look a lot more utilitarian and blocky. Because they're just designed to float. They're not designed to, like, go through water. They're designed to float. They're not designed to float. <laughs> uh, hush. Uh, I'll, I'll sit in mental pain to hush. Could you send a message to Twink and ask him if he knows how the airships function, how they float? Uh... If we knew, if reason being, if we know that there is like a source of their levitation magic could possibly take it out wouldn't it be reasonable to assume that if this is the same group that attacked the westwood they're powered by those weird cores that the mech were i have no idea uh, how how important would you say this is i'm running i didn't rest i mean how important also, do you think possibly being able to take out their fleet is? I, I, I don't know. That's why I asked you. I don't know. I can send. It's just we need to be sparing with these. What does everyone else think? I like your plan of action. Okay. If we can take out the ships, we have a major advantage. Lotus. <laughs> I was thinking that we would maybe look around first. Uh, I don't know how many invisibilities you have, Annie, but I do have an invisibility of my own. Could probably only do one more. I will send and ask. I won't even like do like the whole thing. I'll just ask like how do. I'll, be, I'll literally exactly what Dolan I'll, said. I will say, like, before you send it, like, specifically see if you can, if he knows how you'd be able to disable an airship's flight. Yeah, along those lines, I've done that. That's, yeah. bef that's below. I make sure to sign it, Hush. Nice. Uh, so you get all of that information out to Twink, and you get back from him that uh, uh, if they're like ours, they've got a core, which you can remove or break. If they're like all Tairis, they have a center beam. Big wooden beam covered in runes. You can also break. <laughs> Find magic, break thing. Find magic, break thing. Uh, I mean, can we tell? Are these more like ours or like Altairis? Uh, at a glance, they look like Altairis. Like, they look like they're built like Altairis. So we'd have to sneak in and break the beam. But sneaking in and breaking something is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. It's getting back out once we break something loudly. It's not super easy. Right. Teleportation. I used, I used like 35 words. I just processed. Nah, you're I fine. Just... <laughs> it's all Twink right. just build different. Some of them. Some of it's just me saying it longer for you to understand. But you understand yeah. all of that from Twink. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well. If we sneak, if we sneak in and break like some of the ships, the thing is, is that there's multiple ships, so they're gonna bring up guard on 
the rest of them if some of their ships start falling out of the sky. Well, the ships are landed, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I will say all oh, these, um, all four, all of these are currently landed. So if you like, if you went in and broke them, supposedly they would not fall anywhere because they're already on the ground. Mm. Okay, let's uh, maybe save that plan for last. Let's focus on scouting first. Uh, okay. From this distance, even with dark vision, just because of the range of dark vision and everything. You guys can't really make out a lot of details. You see a lot of people wandering around and walking around. Uh, Lotus, you especially can see that that big tent, you're guessing it's probably like a mess tent like they had on Twinktania when it was still tents because there's lots and lots of people in there and that's where most of the like activity and sound is coming from. Uh, as far as the big weird tent on its own and that little tent over there with those rows of things, both of them are quiet. They both have a light on in them, but you can't tell what's going on with them. Man, I wish I had a telescope. Hmm. Can I do just detect magic? Uh... You can, but I don't think you're at a range where it will be helpful here. Because what is the range on that? It's not just things you can see. It's it's within 30 feet of you. You are like a quarter of a mile away right now. So ah. you guys are you guys are sort of just getting a lay of the land before you go in right now. It lasts 10 minutes, so you can like. It does last 10 minutes. So if you want to cast it now, if you go down in the next 10 minutes, then yeah, I'll just go ahead. Okay, so you cast that. Uh, in your immediate area, you don't see anything magical. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to call Aldrich back out. <clears throat> Just back on your shoulder. <sighs> okay. Hello? Aldrich, we've got a big camp, and we can't see much. You're small, quiet. You mind scouting out for us? He does his little, his little getting ready, like, shuffle with his wings that he just... Boom, takes off. I was just and flies out ahead of you guys. Oh, Quasi, go join him. Quasi fly. Oh, then you're just, he's just gone. Can, can Quasi fly? No. <laughs> Quasi's not going to get far. No. Well, we're on Quasi gets island, 100 right? feet. We're, Quasi gets like 100 we're feet. We're on an island. Yeah, we're on a different island uh, than this one. Quasi gets Quasi like a hundred feet and then just <laughs> falls. I love there was no sound. <laughs> yeah, I love that my noise cancellation no, decided no, 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 Quasi no, no, noises closet, are not human. Hold on. hold on, if it's a closet, he can, he can turn into like a bat. He can turn into a bat. He can polymorph. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. I'm just having to do that so he thing. can go help. Yeah, Quasi goes over and you just hear you hear. I almost accepted that Quasi was just gonna. I did. I wasn't. No, I was joking. He was not actually jumping to his death. I just. I love. I love. It's like Aldrich. You're smart, fast, quiet. Go off, and then it's like Quasi. You go too, and then Quasi. You're also here. Fucking bat wing. That motherfucking yeah, no, whack. Literally... <laughs> There's this invisible point near Annie as Quasi jumps off that you guys watch kind of warp in the air, and then there is just a bat that, from your perspective, appears out of nowhere. Just and then just <laughs> both of your familiars fly off to investigate. Uh, both of you, uh, yes. for your familiars, make uh, stealth checks. Of which. The closet can remain invisible until it attacks or uses its scare action. So it can be a bat and invisible. Oh, it can. Ooh. It All says right, Aldrich. the closet he turns yeah. invisible until it attacks or uses scare. Aldrich, I love you. Thank you. So he, so he has have. advantage. Oh, also, boy. remember he has also, advantage. Also is looking <laughs> yeah. for a bonus. His stealth is plus five, because the Quasit has a plus five stealth. Oh, great. Yeah. Pryo, mm. is an owl familiar different mm. from an owl in any way? No. Uh, other than the fact that you can do the familiar stuff okay. with it. All right. 
Hey, but he's got advantage on. Your familiar just takes I mean. the shape of that creature and yeah. its stats and stuff. Yeah. Hey, but he's got advantage on that perception. That's what I needed from him. He rolled fine. He rolled a seventeen, but he has he has advantage on perception. Uh, yeah, because he's got. Yeah, this was a self -check. Insight. I know. Oh, okay. I'm saying, saying he rolled well on stealth, 17 scouting. on stealth. Okay, cool, cool. But and he's, he's got, got high perception. perception. I, didn't, I didn't realize you were saying those as two separate things. I was that's like, my, I was my like, bad. it's fine. What did, you, what did Quasi roll? Come on, Paul. <laughs> uh, so I, I I looked it up. It's plus three, I think. Do you no, plus five? He, he, no, he has a skills. His skill, he has extra uh, to stealth. Like under his stats, it should say skills. Yeah, yeah. Specifically stealth, stealth is stealth higher than just his his dex. Oh, I don't have that. It's plus five. Oh, okay. So uh, the closets ten. have plus five. So. <laughs> well, With doesn't advantage? he inherit? <laughs> just doesn't he inherit I'm, I'm the bat shit today. stealth if he polymorphs? Ah, uh, don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he, he he would inherit it, which means that it would be a plus two. Oh, it that was plus two because he's a bat, so it was lower because he's not a closet. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Eight. Seven. Or seven? Oh, seven. Oof. Someone's be like, hey, a bat! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's not even hey, a bat. It's an invisible bat. <laughs> it's an in huh. <laughs> Who the fuck oh, is going to go, hey, an invisible bat? bat somewhere. <laughs> he's yeah. just making noises. He's like, like, like hey, an invisible hey, bat! Like, yeah, Stop they, drinking, they Jim. immediately say there's an invisible bat. They just be like, where is that bat? <laughs> yeah, that's that's What's fucking that Harmon noise? popping out of a barrel. <laughs> there's an invisible no. bat somewhere! <laughs> Maybe you should listen to Harmon more, because there is an invisible bat. <laughs> um... Aldrig is flying in and like relaying back to Doc, who relays to Hickory, who relays to all of you. Uh, <laughs> Big game of telephone, but we're good at telephone. There you go. Uh, and Aldrig is like, hmm, they have not noticed me yet. Oh, some of them are over by the camp. What's some of them are looking up into the air. What's what's happening? Um, I don't know what they, all of a sudden you guys see a few Eldritch Blasts, like, into the air. <laughs> and you get back from Quasi, just, ah! <laughs> 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 ah squeak! Ah! <laughs> Bat noise! Fl flying the, uh, I'm the Batman! Straight, my boy, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> you heartless bitch! Ah! The best part is Aldrich has flyby. <laughs> Aldrich is like, I believe that they know that Master Quasi is he's present. And I think they have noticed that he is not a normal bat. That's bad. <laughs> it's alright, they That's seem to be good. trying to hunt him. <laughs> they seem to be trying to hunt him. That's good. Their attention is up towards the sky. Right. Try to have him fly in a direction. I'd have him just try and not get shot out of the sky. Go Keep farther away from the ship. Like, ah. sure. <laughs> yes, watch. All right, and are informed by Aldrich as it seems like just between the mess tent and the normal tents, Quasi is now just flying around all of these tents <laughs> and above them, trying desperately while he's invisible to not get blasted. <laughs> The camp is the camp is clearly getting hectic down there as th this is What's noticed. Aldrich learning other than what Quasi's doing? God, my boy it was just uh, such a good job. That's how we go. Aldrich Ald Aldrich is going to ask you where you want him to look first. Um or if he should just do a full sweep for consulting of the group, do we have an area of where we would want him to prioritize? Um Near the I, ship? Well, see, I guess, like, to see how occupied the ships are, and then okay. also, like, what those lines are. Like, so in priority the top one, the ships, and yeah. whatever may be laying near them. Mm -hmm. yep. And then the, the lines up top. Okay. So, Aldrich is going to fly down that ways. He's going to not be spotted. Uh, he flies around. Uh, you get back. Uh, 
Each of those ships appears to have three people on the top deck. Uh, and it does look like they have some kind of below deck, but they don't have a big structure like your ship does. It's like just the flat top and railings. Uh, they're also at the front of them seems to be some kind of door. Alder guesses is for loading things. And as for things to be loaded, every one of those gray lines between the ships as Aldric is flying, he's like, they are some kind of cannon. <laughs> They don't look too dissimilar to a normal cannon, but they definitely have the handiworks of our good master Tinseeker. Lovely. It also looks like some of these ships have ballista, and at least two of them have trebuchets on top. Okay. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Flies around again. Uh... There's not great lighting between the ships, which he would point out. Mm. Uh, but the top decks are all lit. They have, like, lanterns and stuff. So you can't get on top of the ship without being in light. Then he diverts away to head up towards the top right. Uh, and as he flies up that ways, those rows, as he gets to them, He's like, it's an outdoor armory. Would you look at that? Oh. <laughs> Lots of spears. Very interesting. Uh, he flutters down. Uh, and then you get like a back from him. Just They look like... They look like Lady Lotus's spear. Oh. Which one? Oh, no. The new one. Oh, fuck. By the way, <laughs> Hickory asks which one, doesn't tell you guys what happened, and then just says, oh, fuck. What? So there's an outdoor armory, and they all look like, and she points at the astral bolt. Don't have it right me. Fuck. Yeah, it's a way so that then she points some... at Lotus and goes, "Your new spear." I mean, it's a great design. Doesn't seem to have a gun component at a glance. I give me a moment. It's not like it's not like the new one that was made in the engine. Or just like the the spear. Trying to uh, find Aldrich out. Aldrich refers back. He's like, Hmm. It has the same appearance as all of your lovely engine-made items do, but there is no gun component. They are just very flashy spears. Okay, so they're more Chicks like... It. They have sort of an orange tint to them. Interesting. Along the blades. Odd. Can you ask like a... how occupied that armor is? Uh... Yeah, uh, how occupied is the armory? Ah, it looks like there are just a few guards. They didn't notice a little owl flittering in and landing on top one of the racks. An orange tint? Yeah, so there's like a there's else? orangish like sort tint. Of like... He's like, sort of like a... Sort of like a strange glass to the edge. Hmm. Hmm. So it's not like a coating. It's a was made into it. Yeah. Could be a shot in the dark. It could be something to do with anti magic. That's my only guess. I'm not so sure about that, but unfortunately. I'm going to hope that's not it. Martin has had access to the engine for months. Who knows how many of these he's made? And our best bet is to disable and maybe take some of those. The question is, how do you destroy air right? We should have brought Twink with us because he has the bag of holding. Well, we might not have a bag of holding, but we have something almost as good. Just as good. What? Okay. My stomach? I have 
a extra dimensional space here on my finger. <laughs> Quasi dodges another Eldritch Blast. I hey. could. <laughs> um. Can you ask Aldrich if there's a lot of people around that armory? Maybe I can turn Dulles invisible and he can just go in and... He already said, what, there's, only, he like said a there's only a couple guards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you ask him for exact numbers, he said there's two outside and it looks like there are two more in the tent, but the two in the tent are just talking. Okay. Yeah. I could turn you invisible. You and then... turn me invisible. Something takes the guards at outside's attention away while I go and just gather as many spears as I can find. Like a big a frog? Guard. Still, we need to be able to disable oh. most of those. If those are their main weapons and they can get to us, that's a problem. Just throw them into the abyss. We could just yet. throw them off the edge. Throw them at their main masts. I could start pushing them off. Throw them at them. The, if they the function spears? like Lotus's spear and we throw them at the airship, there's a chance that we disable both their airships and their weapons at the same time. Well, but then they still I, the, the these ships don't have masts because they're just they're just flat on top. There's no mast to throw at. Oh, so the central beam is not what I thought it was. It's like a, a probably like on like you know how we have the uh, like underneath our ship like the big like yeah. beam that yeah. it has like the stuff in it. Probably right, some more mind. like that. <laughs> and also, if we throw the weapons at their ships, they still have the weapons. <laughs> we don't want them yeah. to have the weapons. What they and expect? also, you need a code word. Right, right. <sighs> okay. I could, I could throw them all into the abyss, or we gather them and then we have the spears. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, because invisibility is like if you what was it if you Attack. like attacked or cast a spell your invisibility goes off but what if Dolus is bringing things so, into his ring Dolus grabbing those things wouldn't make him invisible but willing them into the ring would make him visible so okay. from the DM perspective Dolus logically your best bet is if you wanted to get multiple of these would be to grab them while you're invisible and then just swoop the whole bundle in at once. Yeah. Uh, you could also dive off the edge and then bring it into your wing. Also true. How, Hush, how far is your... Is you, actually, no, that was a Mara thing. Him being able to push things around. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I can do that. Oh, yeah, how, 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 how close do you have to be to do that? Uh, I think it actually has to be a creature. I mean, to like telekinetic. Yeah. Uh, Thinking about the idea of <clears throat> of like pushing things off the edge. Uh, shove one creature, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, I I can't push things, but I could set up a telekinesis, and then anything. Uh, it's within sixty feet of me. You definitely push a lot of big things pretty far. Because I'm thinking, I mean, there's definitely more spears than Dolus could hold, I imagine. So it could be like Dolus gets the amount that he's able to, and then you just push all the rest off. And then I just go. Back into the ring, maybe? What if... Dolus just levels Gust of Wind at the line and blows as many as he can off? If he's gonna I have to drop well, there's his ability. Because there's a lot of lines, though, is the thing. There's a lot of rows of Still spears. disabling half of their weaponry. Remind me again, Cryo, which, on this map, which are the spears? Or is there, are they uh, that there? up in the top right, those horizontal lines, each of those is a rack of spears. Does it, like about how many on each rack? Uh, each rack, because the racks are double sided, 
Yeah. Uh, each rack is going to have like two spears every foot, and these are twenty feet wide, so like eighty spears per row. Mm. Okay. Quasi dodges another eldritch blast. <laughs> He's doing I'm just so rolling. Right. A, I'm just rolling occasionally for if they could snipe this little fucking thing. <laughs> I have access to Pulse Wave. I might be able to help you throw off the other batch. What would that? What would Pulse? What is? What would that do? Does it push? Yeah, it has a pretty decent shove to it. It might even break a few of them. Is it loud? Is it loud? Very loud. <laughs> it's just pressure. Is it loud? Pressure is how explosions happen. And explosions yep. yeah. are pretty loud. Unleashing pressure is how you get it. It's not as loud as like setting off equivalent amounts of TNT, but it makes a sound. There is a loud like boom that comes from it. Okay. It's like you ever play The Witcher, you know, when he does the force magic? Well, there you go. That means nothing to you. For those of you at home who've played The Witcher, there's a, there's a spell that's very similar to that. <laughs> if you and were it does, to make the boom sound. I, uh, if you were to pulse wave, I don't think you can get any of those spears off of the. This is above the. I don't think you can get any of the spears off of the. The side, because it is they are un, they are like items, but it's I think pulse wave is fifteen feet. I think maybe if you pull fifteen feet at third level. Oh, does it? Can you upcast it? Yeah. Yeah, the damage and the distance increases every time you upcast. So if I go up to six, it goes up to thirty. I do not think, because I it's not gust. I have cutting wind now, and uh, its effect on non creatures is the winds disperse gas and it extinguishes candles, torches, and oh, you don't have your big flame. cyclone anymore. Well, that is the cyclone. It's it's a cyclone, and it is it cuts it like it is. It's cutting wind is the thing, and so if a creature is in it. It will fucking like tear them apart, but like I thought you had items... gust of wind, like that big just cone of yeah no. So gust of wind was a spell I had at first, and yeah. it I have upgraded it with a homebrew spell called cutting oh. wind. So it is still yeah. that's also it's still just gust of gust of wind. wind also wouldn't push yeah, no. more than a gust fuck. of wind is just a strong wind. All right, never like mind. it pushes creatures, oh. but like if you it's might a be with with item, cutting wind, you might be able to push. Some some yeah. of this, but you're not you're not gonna be able to like sweep out this yeah. place. I could use I can use Big B's hand uh, and really push a lot of it because it has its own push and it's a large size, but it would take True. a little bit. It does have distance though. You could yeah, just with uh, Big B's hand, just like like hit the ground and just slide it off the island. Uh, how thick do you think this island is? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we can like, see like how many seas from here, right? <laughs> like, what? What if we buried them? Well, they would what dig. would they? They would dig them out. Yeah, they wouldn't know. Well, um, have you secretly buried them? <laughs> like, how? How secretly, or do you think you're able? If to they, bury if they, if you know, if they lose all of their spears, and all of a sudden now there's a big bunch of tufted land that looks like it had been recently buried things I think they may assume that they were Why buried would it look like Annie, that? yeah Annie could earthbender this I don't know you need to be more clear we don't know yeah. how you can do this <laughs> just, like, just imagine though if they were buried it's like I don't okay <laughs> I mean how earth? thick is this island can he just dig it dig a hole that just you sends could them dig to the void deep enough each of these islands is like a good 40 to 50 feet thick. I mean, that's yeah. not that thick. That's not that thick, no. Yeah, could we just like make a hole underneath <laughs> and all the spears <laughs> drop into the void? You could. That's pretty sick. That, that's yeah, pretty that would be really <laughs> sick. Let's give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> if you mold Earth right, you could just cut one of these islands in fucking half. That that would be better because then if Annie is the one doing that, then we can focus our efforts elsewhere. Yeah. Right. Do we want to grab some of the spears? Probably. I mean, Just in case I, they could be useful. If they're dropping down into the void, I can catch a few. 
I mean, it would probably be smarter to try and get them before their spears falling at you. That's a lot yeah, of. Can that's just a turn lot of. Five... Go and go grab some, and then Annie can drop them all. That's a lot of five foot, like cubes, to cut through, and then we have to put all of the spears. That's a lot of time. Like, okay, hold on, Annie. How are you going to be getting through? How are you going to make this hole? Well, we start by making a big hole, and then we go down. Right. And then go down and down and down. Okay. okay, can you make a hole going up? Like start from the bottom and just go and up here. to where the spears are so they just fall through. I could, but the problem is I'm not sure if I would know where to aim from down there. Up. <laughs> what do you well, mean? Well, yes, but like what if I suddenly... Okay. I'm not asking for your plan. What spell are you using to do Mold this? Earth. Mold Earth. <laughs> Okay. It's five foot. You can move a five foot thing of of dirt every six seconds. That would be a lot of uh, dirt. Pulse. I know this is not a great option for you, but give me an intelligence check. Oh. <laughs> Thank fuck! I finally rolled something good. Uh, <laughs> seventeen. 17! That means he rolled a 19. Holy <laughs> fuck. Uh, Pulse, you get the idea. Uh, like what they're trying to say, just cutting a hole through would probably take long enough that you'd get discovered pretty easily. But everybody's making the comments about pushing them, and they are not super far from an edge. And if you just made that edge slanted <laughs> mm. oh. would probably be a lot faster <laughs> than if you just made a hole are the things that are holding these spears up are they like like racks like individual racks that are like, yeah connected, it's like a, it's a long wooden rack yeah it's a singular long wooden rack that has a bunch of spears on it. So if the rack starts to fall, all the spears on that rack fall. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Presumably. That, that would. So wait, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be. It takes like a you, couple minutes. Yeah. But if if you slanted it and it made it easier for them to slide off, it would take half a minute if Hush went in with a Bigsby's hand and just pushed and then they slid down. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That's a Bigsby's hand could also afterwards grab a few. It's big enough. Guys, never mind. I think we're gonna Don't comment on it. We're saying it how we want to say it. It's this just wrong. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Are we saying this in character? Hush's hand. Hush hand. If you, in character, I can just say, if you slant it um, to where it can slide off nice and easy and I don't have to put a full force into it, I can use my big hand and in half a minute have all of them falling into the void. I can even grab a couple. I can you even grab one of them. Energy. Hmm? Oh, I shouldn't waste your energy on that. It, it, I feel like it was a pretty what? good use of energy. This is a very important <laughs> use of my energy. <laughs> I mean, I could probably do it on my own, though, is what I'm saying. Oh. But if you get caught, you're alone. That's fine. Let, let's let's try and brainstorm other things that we could do as well. See if there is another thing that Hush could well, do that would be better. Because this is this we've only been talking about the armory. So, Annie, how would you Annie do it on hit. your own? I saw a roll. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he didn't get hit, but it got really close. <laughs> there was one under. There was one under. Oh, they're, they're getting better with their aim, it seems. Uh, Hush wants to play Minecraft. Annie, how would you get them off on your own? You slant the edge, and then what? Just start grabbing a bunch of them and slide them down. Well, so what well, Hush is saying, you can slide the whole rack off. Not just what individual speed. I, I guess... Slanting what the ground need, helps it. What if we need his energy, is what I'm well, saying. Because I'm saying, if you are going to just take them and 
roll them off the slant. You would just take them and throw them off of the edge. Regardless. I mean, I, I could also thank you for that. worrying about my, my energy, but it, where it means getting rid of all of these weapons. It's a pretty good use of my energy. Yeah, that's their but, armor. <laughs> well, now my question is, how are you going to slice the beam? I have other spells. Also, there are three more of us. Yeah. And I have, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Of which, so speaking of, uh, us three, like to Lotus and Hickory, uh, while they're, if we go with this plan, while they're doing that, we should try and find a way to disable the airships or do something to uh, at least disable some of them. So, I think... Ooh. I just had a really... I just had an idea. Okay. That would work with any. I'm so sorry. If okay. any slants them, if he, any puts the, the, the island at a slant, what um, Hickory is talking about, Pulse Wave, if they can just pull them a little bit, they'll go tumbling down. In one clean hit, they can probably hit all of them. Uh, is Pulse Wave like a... Uh, from a it's a cone. Point? Oh, it's a cone. Yeah. Cone. Mm. So 30 foot cone, and if it upcasts, it gets longer and wider. It's 15 feet at its base cast. Is it? I think. Oh, at its base cast? No, it's 30. Is it? Yeah, 30 feet. I'll be damned. That would be a good use of... 15 foot shove. My bad. Yeah. So mm, if yeah. you if you slant it, you only have to shove it like five, ten feet, and then it slides right off. Yeah. Are the racks secured into the ground? You asked Aldrich, he would tell you it seems no. It seems like they're just resting on the ground. Sick. Okay. So that's another option. Uh, if we did that, then we could use hush more for... Well... Mm. Okay. It'd be if better we if that, I went in for stealthily. Yeah, because we could get you at least... So, f while they're doing that, Hush, if Lotus could turn Hush invisible, and then Hush goes into one of the ships stealthily and finds out where the core is, or, like, where it is and, like, how to get to it and how protected it is, etc., then... From there, me, Lotus, and Hush can start taking out the ships while you all take out the weaponry. And then once commotion happens, we jump off these islands and we fly back. Yeah. Right. And and if I go in and find out, like, the whole security measures, I can alert everybody at that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like we got a plan then. All right. Just know All that right. once I cast but, Pulse Wave, it's loud. Yeah. How am I getting down there? I, I'm i not... How do you mean? A big flyer. Getting down where? To the ships? Yeah. Me and Lotus are flyers. Oh, okay. I, th I thought you were sending me in first. My bad. Oh, no. Well, we're taking you to that island, but then the ships are on the ground. Yeah. The okay, ships are landed, right. so you can just walk up to them. Right. I can drop you down nearby and then just cast invisibility. I'd already be touching you. And then I go in, see the, the situation, how well they're guarded, and if we can even take them out, possibly if they're beams and they're wooden. Maybe don't fire. take them nearby. I'd say don't take them nearby, because if you get close, that's a more chance that you'll get spotted as well. So, I mean, Hush can move fast. If he just runs invisibly yeah. and quietly, he'll be fine. Yeah, I am very quiet. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, well, what are you smiling about? Uh, Good luck, everyone. Yeah, as we get moving to get going, uh, Hickory reaches over and grabs Hush's shoulder and goes, you got this, okay? And she's going to cast Enhance Ability, cast Cat's Grace. Noah, real quick, I how many charges do you have left on the sword to keep using Hickory stuff while you're Oh, dark? shoot, that is Hickory's. Uh, it's okay. I already have advantage. I already have advantage but, from ad yeah. invisibility. I used it once for remove curse and then he and cure wounds. That's two. Yeah. 
So, and if I have four, then I still have two left. Yeah. I think you used it a third time because the third, the first one was when you first discovered it, and then yes. you talked to that lady, and that's when you did the cure wounds and remove curse. Oh yeah, because you used it. Right. You used it with so you have one use right, of then fakery I will not be Above this, I'm good. I already have advantage from invisibility. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Then. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, Plus, we ball. Can, can't you just give yourself advantage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can just give myself advantage on self. <laughs> give him and haste instead. Good. Fuck it. And then, <laughs> and then bulls. I already have haste. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck it. Hex. Go, focus your stuff on your own things. Don't. Don't. don't Fuck well, it, hush is hex. fine. Hush is, hush is power <laughs> bill. Leave him alone. It's true. I am. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's, I'll need that last up. charge for pulse wave then. Yep. Yeah, I was like, you were about to do something, and I was like, you do not. I mixed up that, my, my. I mixed out. <laughs> whoa, 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 uh, mixed up which spell table I was allowed to use. Yeah, I'm like, you have access to all of Doc's stuff just with yep. Hicks, yep. like modifiers. I'm ready. Let's do all right, it. so you guys split up and set out. Yep. Annie and uh, Hickory fly down and around. I would like stealth check from you two. Average it out. Okay. Give you advantage because you're on a flying broom and you're all in black. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Ew, I rolled a one. All right, that's better. <laughs> I'm like, I hope you didn't roll a one twice. <laughs> 18. <laughs> 14. Right. 14. Okay. Sick. No one notices you two. Let's go. You fly up and around as you're flying. Quasi is still causing a little chaos around the mess tent. And then they don't get him. Not yet. He's still he's still flapping around. <laughs> it's been like two minutes now. They've been trying to shoot down this fucking bat. <laughs> They're not good at it. What, what's like the whole thing going down there? They just like heard something and they're like, I can't see it. Ah, ah. Well, he's it's. It's like they rolled high enough that they know where there is a bat and they know it's invisible, which means it's magic. So they are trying to get it. They're trying to get it. Uh, <laughs> it's just like fireworks in the background. <laughs> yeah. So there's just the occasional Eldritch Blast while they're like, what is going on with this thing? <laughs> uh, the other three of you. Oh, Dolas got up. Hi, Dolas. All um, right, we'll stay, we'll stick with you two for the moment. Let's go. Uh, actually, no, because you, yeah, the uh, it do doesn't matter for that for Dolus. Yeah, so Lotus, you make a stealth check real quick as you're dropping Hush off. Uh, Hush. Yup. Oh, I was about to ask, where are you dropping Hush, Hush off on this little map? Because you you would have been looking down at this from the top left. So that's the direction you're coming from. Where are you dropping him off? Uh, bottom right. Okay, so you're going to curve around and put him behind that rock? Yep. Rock? Perfect. <gasps> I'll never be able to say that word in this plane safely no. ever. There's a rock nearby. <laughs> you guys are like, oh! And I'm like, yeah, it's a boulder. It's right there. <laughs> A and small so boulder the size of a large boulder. We've become desensitized, and you're like, it's the giant fucking bird. I'm like, guys, there's a rock. And you guys are like, yeah, of course there's a rock. There are lots of rocks. There are islands. And I'm like, no, a rock. <laughs> it's coming for you. Oh, God. All right, Lotus, what did you roll? Uh, I forgot to do math. Uh-oh. 21. Okay. Hush, you get oh. placed down behind this this boulder. I should, I should Lord, mention. you stay there, or do you, like, take back off so you can, like, convene with Dolis? Yeah, I take back off. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, before oh, uh, we go. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that I'm connected to everybody. Like, not using the, not using, like, the original Hush connection. So now we, we are all, no matter where everybody is, I'm connected. Dick. Uh, yeah. He just, like, gives, like, a good luck. And I'm going to stealth and try to get onto the ship. Perfect. Make a stealth check. Got it. All of your several layers of advantage. Hey, okay, thank you. 
Thank you. I'm gonna bullshit knack it. Thank you. 32. <laughs> Fuck. Hush. You no noise whatsoever. Just bup, 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 over and then just like clamber your way up the side of one of these ships because all of these like loading doors are closed. As you're here and you can see from a lower angle now whereas Aldrich was looking from above, it looks like these ships like land and then the front of them, a lot like a lot like how like military boats work, how the front like drops down and then mm. people can go in and out or load things in and out. They have that. So each of these has landed and that front can open to let people in and out, but it is currently closed. So you go up mm -hmm. the side and then with your stupid high stealth roll, you are not noticed as you land on the well illuminated top deck. So you're invisible and silent. And then you, you look around. There are three people up here, all standing guard. Uh, each of them has a spear that does look like it is the same sort of shape as the as Kyle. Uh, but it doesn't have any of the gun stuff at the head. Like it is just a it is just a uh, they're called a boar spear is the shape uh, for anybody who wants to know. Uh, so they all have sort of boar spears, but then at the top, uh, sort of the edge of it, a lot like the the hour and the moment there is a crystalline edge that is sort of this orangish brown to it. Uh, and Hush, you recognize immediately what it is as you get up here and you see these spears. Uh, they were not forged with Aerite. They were forged with Amber, which they you recognize out of immediately. You. It's... Agrahill's Amber. It's the exact same color. Oh, yeah, no. As soon as Hush gets up there and he has that realization, everybody again hears the boom, 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 boom. As, like, Hush is getting angry. Hush! What are you doing? You okay? They're not, they're not there, right? They're, they're my Amber. Their weapons are made out of my amber. More reason for us to blow them out. Why would they use my amber? Maybe there's something about it that we don't know yet. They're using my, like me. I'm going down. Their tip, their 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 spears are tipped with it. Stay safe. Yeah. If we can, I would like to save these weapons. If we can. We'll definitely try and get a few. And Hush is just like in the back of his head. It's 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 so faint that it's such an echo. And they're like... It's just so back of your head. It's just like, their weapons are my memories. I'm gonna start heading down. All right. Uh, you head down. It is pitch black down here, uh, but you have dark vision. So you immediately sort of transition into the black and white of dark vision as you come down the stairs. Uh, the only source of light down here is a small glow from this timber uh, beam, this wooden beam that runs the length of this ship down the middle. You ever see when people like redo their homes and there's like a wooden beam in the ceiling that's visible? Yeah. It's exactly that down like the center of this sort of cargo bay space that you're in. And mm -hmm. it is carved in runes that just glow very softly. They only emit like a foot of dim light, but they are glowing. Mm. I just, I apologize for all our, for all our watchers. Um, you might have noticed this. You probably didn't. Um, my chair, I had it pushed all the way up, and for some reason, my chair's been leaking air. And now I'm down here, and I just I'm now realized doing it. The same thing, and I keep I, like, to adjust. I started all the way up here, and I have. If you speed up the the session, you will slow me slowly. Be like, <laughs> hey, but you I just won't got a new notice. One today. I did. I did. Let's go. Okay. 
he conveys all of that of just like the long lumber, like long like beam covered in runes. Um, does it look like it's like fortified with anything, or is it just like a piece of wood with runes on it? Uh, I mean, it's it's put in there with metal like strappings and like wooden attachment. Like it is properly in there and like a part of the ship, but it is just presumably a beam that is enchanted. Uh, but I will say it is a big, thick wooden beam. So you would have to, you don't know if you just have to destroy part of it or all of it, but it's like, it's not just like, oh, I found this one rod. I'm just going to break it in half real quick. It is like as thick around as you are. <laughs> mm. like, the like a big ass beam. <laughs> the orange parts. Those are the, those are the ships, right? The, the orange well, yeah, in, the, on the map. In, yeah, the, 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 the map. that okay. dark, that orangish brown. What I'm hearing is is that I could possibly need be a uh, fireball and hit the entire beam. If Correct. If it's across the ship, I would be able to fireball that entire thing. You could fireball into this cargo hold and just blast the whole beam. I convey that or convey that to the the party. I'm like. It's big, but I bet a fireball could hit all of it. It's it's sanctioned in. Okay, Kay's back. Kay uh, has returned. Catch him up. There he is. I was I was messaging him. Sick. Weapons are made of amber, and I found the beam. And you're being conveyed of just. They're covered in runes. It's about as long as the ship is, and it is, like, secured in tight. But if I fireball, I could hit the entire beam. Okay. okay. How many fireballs do you have? I have... Uh, one. Can Two. You, can you Three. really describe what they look like? They're just wooden beams with... It is just a big, wood. thick wood beam. Like, when people, like, remodel their home and they put a wooden beam across the ceiling, the, just the big, thick wooden beams, it's like that. Like the wooden beam Noah and I used to have in our house. Yeah! Yeah. All right. And it's it just has covered metal in metal attachments. It does, yeah. It's got, like, metal bindings to hold it in and attach it to other pieces of wood. And then there's also okay. wood that's just screwed into it. It's just it's just like a big-ass wooden beam that's right. part of this ship structure. It just happens to be magic. I could, if I went in, I could also thunder wave them. Make just a, another big explosion. Mm-hmm. True. I don't really have anything like that. I mean, I have a gun. That's it? I don't know how useful that that would be. Not very, unfortunately. Yeah. I can uh, just be Hush's uh, transportation. True. It's true. You can move him very fast. Mm-hmm. So... As you guys if, well, keep going. Go, go, go. If that's the case, Hush says that he has three fireballs. And you have the thunder wave, so it can take out oh, at least four. I have... A lot of thunder waves. Mm. Well, the, the 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 concern for you would then be: Would you be able to get from point A to point B safely and also get out? That's why I'm banking on one. Can I? I mean, I would... could certainly try. Would you <laughs> be better if you moved? Dolis, because I can move as fast as you can if I'm on land. All I have to do is shoot it inside. But I don't mm. know if that's the best idea. I was thinking since you don't have to go in to shoot, so I was thinking maybe we could be max range of your fireball and then you can just shoot your fireball towards it. That's true. And then each time you do, we can relocate. So it, it'll feel like there are many people mm. firing a fireball. Right. That's true. Is the area around the airships, is it well lit or is it dim light? It is dark. The, only the oh, top deck is is lit. With 
full light or? Yeah, so the top decks are bright light, and so they put off some dim light, but that's the top. So down below, like walking around between them, it's dark. I could get around if I have my uh, Shadow of Moil up. As soon as I jump off the side of that ship, I am in complete darkness, even in dim light. You can also shapeshift to be other people. I could also shapeshift to just look like a guard. It's true. I, I could, could I could sneak in, blow up the thing, and then run out like a crazed guard screaming for help. Jump off yeah. the side of the ship, and I'm gone. Mm-hmm. And then so... we can do what what we did with the, the purple worms. So all of everything goes off at the same time. Right. And then, if things seem grim, if there seems like there are a lot of people starting to gather before we can take more off, we cut our losses and we leave. We run. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there still an opportunity for us to get one of the weapons? How do you mean? I just want to get one of the weapons. Where, where Annie and the, the soldier also, The soldiers are also wielding them. Oh, I mean, if you, I'll see what I can do, because I'll be more hands-on. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. So if we do this, then I would need to leave, go convey with Lotus. And then when we send this all up, I can take out three and you can take out three. And during that time, they can take out the weapons, but we need to be fast. We need to be... At least we need to be at least out of sight to throw these these fireballs. Mm. Do, do you have the ability to like uh, convert sorcery points into yes. spell slots? Yep. Is that how you would be able to fire off three, or is that before? Uh, no, I have I have fourth level spell slots. Oh, so, so they'd have can... to be. I can shoot off one third level and two fourth level. Right. So, but I'm saying if you you could also convert, convert. spell slots into source, uh, sorcery points into the spell slots and fire off more if I'm not able to yeah. get more of them. In off. case you aren't able to get the last couple, I can make more spell slots to, yeah. to, to shoot off more fireballs. Right. I uh, think you should uh, at least have one more so then Dillis can take care of the two. You can take care of four of them. That would be all six. Right. Uh, or I. how about you wait until I'll ping to you and tell you how well the first one went. And then if I feel like I need assistance with one more, I let you know, and then you do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Hush, are you ready to blow things up? You know, I'm always ready to blow things up. That's why I asked. But I do need to get picked up. Yeah, hold on. Let me. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up, like, so that your legs are sitting on my arms, so that you have full range of your arms. Yeah. I need to. I'm going to get out of this ship now. <laughs> you guys. Hey, well, start start oh, running back towards us. I never asked. Is there. So, like, the how the way that you're. The how the ships are, like, set. Um, is it like an opening that you just like walk down and you're right towards the beam? Like if you're outside, can I just shoot a fireball into that opening? Yeah. Okay. It is yeah. the inside of these ships is all just one space. It's like just a cargo and city. It's like the back of like the big transport airplanes you see the military use where it's all just one big fucking space where they strap everything down and stand around. It's all one space. Yes, Lotus. Also something to take into consideration. I don't really know much about fireballs, but I mean, it's fire and these are made out of wood. It'll catch fire. So yeah. you should take that into consideration. In what sense? If the ship starts to catch fire, fire is light. If it gets in between the two ships, then your darkness is... Well, sure. It's true. Just don't a fireball one of the ones that I'm at. <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> can we just say that we figure out a way that Hush can fire at three ships and not hit one of the ones I'm at and light it on fire? 
Uh, you guys can hush can have the three on the left and you could have the three on the right. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Cool. I get I I do I, I I leave the ship uh and I like go to the spot that Lotus dropped me off. I'm like just go back to where I was. I'll I'll go and pick him up. Soup soup down. I'll just like quickly just like pick up a piece of grass or like pick up grass just sh- so that my invisibility, like it's only noticeable for floating somebody. grass as you're holding it above your head. Mm, I I pick him up with my talons. Like a bird coming in, just invisible hush. Uh, for the other two, you two. What's up? You get around this island without being noticed, and I will say, as they're having their discussion and you're peeking over the edge, uh, Pulse Annie. Uh, your no. connection to Quasi severs. No! And they finally hit him. <laughs> Kill them all! Oh, it's yeah. like my boy is dead. <laughs> like Henry just kind of looks across dead. the island at Aldrich, just kind of perched. And she's like... Aldrich is still chilling on the, one of those racks. Yep. Just like dead stock still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she pings over him and it's just... <laughs> You want me to just de-summon you, or do you want to come back and come over here? I'm fine. They don't even care that I'm here. It's fine. Can Aldrich see the the people that shot my boy? Sort of (laughs) stare at them? They die first. Off of the distance, I see people standing around where he was who had been shooting up at him. I presume it to be one of them. I just want to know when if they're coming this way at all. Oh, they are not. It seems that they are investigating still the situation at hand. Perfect. There you go. Starts molding. Some I don't think they <laughs> realize quite exactly what's going on yet. Well, it does look like one of them is running off somewhere, though. Uh oh. Guys, I think we need to move now. Okay. All right. Thick. All right. Uh, Hush, give us a countdown, I guess. <laughs> are you, are you going to be in, in position to be able to? So I'm going to go uh, near one of. I'm going to go like I'm still on the ground in the in the uh, dim light. Oh, never mind. To make it easy, I should have done this beforehand. But to make it easy, let's number these six ships. Top yeah. four, one, two, three, four. Bottom ones are five, six. Okay. So I'll be at one of them. <laughs> I'll be at number four. Okay. Okay. So I'm at the bo- on the ground near number four, uh, and I am going to. Uh, I'm not gonna cast Shadow of Moil yet. Uh, but I'm gonna just start floating up until I'm like right underneath like the railing to where like if it's when I get like the go I just just straight down into the like straight over and then down towards the beam apologies which ones were the what were the numbers it was like one two three one two three four five six yeah so one two three one starts from the left left to oh left to right left to right left to right I'm on the far right just like you count gotcha (laughs) Okay, I uh, Ashley gives What's the command up, to to Ray. Oh. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, hush. We can position ourselves a hundred and twenty feet. One hundred and fifty feet. A hundred and fifty feet from uh one and two. Mm-hmm. Bio, as we're getting close, how like strong do these guards on the ship look? Uh, make me an make me an insight check. I guess maybe that would be investigation. Insights. Uh, I think insights good. Well, I think insight. I got a six. <laughs> so, would Hush have been able to tell when he was on the ships? Hush, how strong were those uh, guys? <laughs> I definitely gave, gave him a look up and down after they were holding my thoughts as their weapons. That's fair. All right. Uh, uh, insight? I should also make an insight check for me. 12. We'll use your passive if it's not better than your passive. 12. 
12. My passive is 13. Uh, all right, we'll use those. They, they look tough. They look they look formidable. These are not like... Chumps. These aren't, yeah, these aren't chumps. These aren't your average city guards. Okay. Uh, yes, Lotus. Uh, two things. I want to give Dolus one of my potion of greater healings before he leaves. Okay. Um, and I also... My strat, because I'm not really doing much, is I, you know how like when snipers, they shoot once and then they reposition? That mm. is Lotus's plan. So for for Hush. And so it's like... Each fireball You're using me as a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I, you're holding him like this, and Hunter just has his hands out like this. <laughs> so, yeah, you're drone is, striking, is what you're doing. Because you uh, I want to give the illusion that there are more casters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick, the cryo. Sorry. Mm -hmm. How much space is there between each ship? Like, are, are those squares 20. indicative of five feet? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, these are these are accurate to feet measurements. What are those like? Almost unable to see gray. Those are, cannon those are cannons lined oh, up okay. to be loaded up. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I wish as we would have gotten a rest. We, as we get ready, and I'm like, everyone's like, oh, why not? I. Dolus kind of reluctantly like reaches for his bag and then pulls his hand back. But then doubles back and reaches in for the mask, and I put it on. Okay. You two ready? Are you ready for your your slanting mission? Bang. You guys have the well, two guards in that it. tent, and then you have uh, a guard at the top left corner and a guard at the bottom right corner of the racks. All right, fuck them. <laughs> Should hmm. we like? Should Annie go and start slanting the earth first, and then we go once Annie's been noticed? Yeah. Okay. Annie, let us know when you've been noticed. Start molding the earth. <laughs> All right. All right, Pulse. This is arguably uh, the quietest part of this. And I, I, I see these people, right? Yeah, these you guys. see the... Well, you see the one in the bottom left, because I presume you guys are on the, the side that's going to get these spears off fastest and closest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you or you see the guy on the bottom right, not bottom left, top left and bottom right. So. Also, since we're giving up on stealth, how loud is it to reuse that? To the quick clip? Yeah. It's like the sound of your armor being put on, but it happening all at once. Oh, but we haven't given up stealth yet. We're still stealthing until notice. Yeah, no, no, no. I was, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, okay. cool. I it's have like, it's like Iron Man putting on his armor. It is, it is audible. I have that ready to where I can basically just slap it on and get going. Yeah, a suggestion. Ray. You you could yeah. have that as your readied action. Yep. And don't you still have a few more minutes with your boots? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can go underneath. Yeah. Uh, I'm also gonna have Aldrich ready to steal one of the spears as they start moving. Okay. Uh. D just to be a little more stealthy as like I get like closer and closer I'm just molding and molding I'll eventually just like when I'm real close and I think they might notice me if they like look in a wrong direction I'll just kind of like minor illusion something off in the distance it okay. seems like a little ominous an image or a sound uh image like, like they what? actually like yeah, what what are you minor illusions? Yeah. Please, Just like just... make it look like a shadow. Okay. Very very it dark. Like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> it looks like Dolas <laughs> ten minutes ago. The, the someone said it's was a, terrifying. It's a very human shaped shadow. There you go. It's the All design right, is very you... human. <laughs> uh, Hickory, you separate from Annie so you could fly under and around to the other side of the spears while Annie starts mold earthing. I guess since Aldrich it's 40 is keeping an eye on thick. it. Since it's 40 uh, Dolus, give me a stealth thick. check with advantage while you are floating near this ship. 18. Okay, you're not noticed. Uh, Lotus, you're just kind of watching. 
Uh, and this, all this dirt starts to kind of like slide in patches. Uh, and one of the, one of the guards, Aldric tells you, Hickory, just, he's looking, he's looking towards Miss Annie. Annie? Hmm? He's noticing you. Ah. Casually, just minor illusion. <laughs> nightmare, yeah, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Ah. <laughs> <Zoom. Let's> see. <laughs> Please. How much Please. of a bitch is this guy? Come on. This dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and Annie, you just see like a crack of light from up because you can't like you this guy's at like an angle and as you're molding earth you don't see what he does but there is there is this little burst of like orange light over and just what, what? <laughs> he's attacked your illusion and it didn't it just went through it because it's an illusion <laughs> my, my favorite thing about everything that's been happening is just just the, above the table once more every time like for example hickory being like annie that wasn't Hickory saying that. That's Hickory saying it to Hush, who then no, <laughs> gives I can, it back. I can connect directly. Yeah, Hickory to can oh, connect. Actually, can go direct. No, you specifically, no. But everyone else is. <laughs> everyone else is, is just through. through. <laughs> I I do different yeah. voices for everybody too. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all kind of mock like Honey. mockery. <laughs> okay, pulls. And then as soon as he like looks in that direction, alter self to look exactly like him. Well, she just do shit. Okay, also, does oh, that's Aldrich right, that's know good. what the fuck just came from that weapon? Uh, Aldrich saw this dude attack, and there was just a flash of orange from this cool. attack. Sick. Oh, so he didn't, he didn't, like, shoot anything from the spear. He, he just kinda... tried to stab this thing, and there was a flash. And then He's got the happened. fucking pruning stick from the TVA. Annie floated up and then just turned into this dude as she continued to mold her. <laughs> Annie, this dude turns back and he just sees you casually molding the earth, looking just like him, and he's like, What the, the fuck? Hmm? <gasps> and then he literally just goes, Dink! And he throws the spear at you! Ah! <laughs> Crow, is it within range to dispel magic? <laughs> You're all under this island. Not a reaction. Being yeah, being. not a reaction. Fuck. Also, not a reaction. I hate it! Oh. I also can't. I'm looking at the uh, wrong 14. Again. 14 misses. Okay. And he throws <laughs> the spear the... into the dirt behind you and then just, fuck. Uh, and he uh, grabs a thing around his neck and he pulls it up and he blows no. this really high pitched whistle. Do I not have a chance to do anything? Have you ever Maybe reaction? Tell, Maybe tell uh, us that I, you were caught. I wanted to, uh, I want to do cause fear. Ooh, is that a reaction? Not a reaction. Okay, but, but to like... be fair, that is his second action. I mean, I'll leave it up to you on this one. It's more like a free action, like how you guys Fuck. like talking combat, like it's just yeah. blowing a whistle. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I wouldn't call blowing into a whistle as a full action. <laughs> Reactions do I? Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he's gonna get this whistle off. If you would attack, if you would attack him straight away instead of just saying, "Hey, this might have you might have gotten him," but it's like, but I think this is one of those situations where it's like he's gonna he blows this whistle. The other guard on the other side. How much just, d earth did Annie mold before it oh, found? Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. It's an opportunity attack. Never mind. Can I, I also can blow the whistle? <laughs> You just do shit. It's amazing. Uh, you hang just on, I'm gonna do roll shit. for how much. Hmm? Annie molded earth enough to get a slant. We're gonna just go top to bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six of these rows have been have a slant next to them now. Cool. So Annie just had the last two remaining when that happened. Well. Uh, <sighs> Annie, you, yeah, you in your disguise, you pull up a whistle and also blow it. Point that I, called, guard. I called Aldrich and tell him to grab one, and then I'm fucking, we're pulse waving, baby. I've been caught. You should probably act. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. As soon as I know that Aldrich is out of the way of this. Uh, 
make a strength check real quick as Aldrich to grab this spear because it is like a six foot long spear and That's he is a barn fair. owl. <laughs> but it is machine made, so I hope it is lighter than the normal one. Why would that be the case? Ah, uh, because that's how they've all been described, is once they get machine made, they're a little lighter. Oh, Jesus, fuck, your strength sucks, Aldrich. He's a barn owl. <laughs> okay, so it's... <laughs> it's a 12. He grabs his spear and takes off, but it definitely puts a noticeable delay before you, he's clear enough for you to blast these all off. That's fine. They uh, can't move that fast. <clears throat> He, he kind of half drags it out of the way and one of the other guards is like, what the fuck? <laughs> As he flaps Fucking. past with this half dragging spear on the ground and then you come up and you pulse wave these sticks. Disguise! Fireball. Disguise! Hey, Cryo, is one of yeah. the guards in range of this? <laughs> You're going with the motherfucker! He could, the guard in the top left could be in range. Okay. This feels like a Rollies. It is. It 100% is. Play Rollies with me. Uh oh. I don't know why. I He's in range. Nice. Okay. He's cool. in range. I rolled a natural one. I rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, he All has right, to make cool. a save. Cryo, make me uh, What kind of save do you have to make me with a fucking pulse? Doesn't right? matter. I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, He's getting launched. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm Real not help even scream. Kidding. Yeah, I'm like, he's not going to get shoved off the side because it, yeah, it won't not push him that side. far. But yeah, he gets blasted well, aside. <laughs> I was going to ask Cryo, how much juice do I have to put into this to get rid of the rose in my range? Like, oh, just... yeah, it it upscales how far it pushes, too. Yeah. No, he's going over the edge. If well, you, you want to get all of if, these, if he's I, going over the edge. If I want to get all of these, am I casting at sixth? Yeah, you you had it. To get all of these, you Send have to get it. it. <laughs> so yeah. He, you upcast a max. This guard sees he all of it. He's like, what the fuck? And then die, you pop dude. up and just like. High level. It's not That's 8d6 of damage. Yeah. It's 9d6 of damage. Clap your hands together. Okay. And he, he mm. failed. So you don't have to roll damage because he's getting flung <laughs> into the abyss. Yep. I just, you're giving this guy the Lotus and Dolus treatment, shooting him off into the fucking abyss <laughs> of the elemental plane of air. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna land in Raiden's fucking backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and even if, I just love, even if he is somehow surviving the fall, he, he is then gonna be rained upon by like a, a, a hundred he fucking- He survived the pulse 80, wave. It's 80 per rack and I just sent six racks off. Yeah, well, I was going to say, I'm like, I'm going to roll for how well these racks slide. It's a really good plan. Some of these I've disadvantage. Because <laughs> they're on a slant. <laughs> it is, yeah, no, all six racks just... Yes! And then start... Yeah, I call Aldrich to me, and I because I know he's slower, I'm meeting him halfway and grabbing one of the spears. And then uh, I'm... The other two guys from the tent... How Come much out. time do I have left on my boots? Uh, it took you like a minute to get in position, so you got like basically the full 19 minutes left to pre to fly around. Cool, awesome. Uh, anyway, go on. You grab the spear from Aldrich. Those other two guards step out. Uh, the whistles have been blown. You hear more whistles down in the the camp, and you hear a few bells ring. For the rest of you, there was a boom, and then loud whistles and bells. Oh, and you said, you said the six that were on the slant fell off. What about the other two? Are they still... Those other two racks, Annie hadn't slanted yet. What, did the so, pulse wave do anything? <laughs> like in pushing them just forward? It would have pushed forwards? them. It probably would have knocked some of the spears off. Uh, but it's not sending like the whole racks into the void. Right, okay. So, you got rid of it. You got rid of six out of eight, which is, is pretty fucking impressive. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 480 did... spears that have gone plummeting Fuckers. into the plane of air. Annie did say, I got caught. So as soon as that procs, yes. hushes. <laughs> okay. And I will wait for the cue of the fireball going off and people possibly like moving to see what was happening to then sneak into the. Below into deck. the four. Also, so, yeah. Dolas, from your perspective, 
all the whistles start. You see people being like looking up towards the sort of armory and cross out towards it and that whole shabacle that's going on. And then immediately, like 80 feet the other direction, there is a as one of these ships. Uh, hush. I mean, this it automatically fails, obviously, but roll me damage on this fireball for the sake cool. of it. Cryo, as a reminder, I did clasp my armor once everything kicked off. Okay, so everything kicked off and you... Yeah. 26. Cool. 26? All right. So this fireball, you cast it from where you and Lotus are, and it dar darts down this stairs <laughs> just to the last point you can see, the last angle, and it, boom! And you watch as the front of this ship... Like the 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 like ramp gets like knocked open and fire like rushes out, uh, and it does look like it's catching fire. Beauty. It's not like it blew up. It didn't yeah. splinter into a million pieces, but it does look like you have lit a fire inside of this. I Next. reposition. All right, Lotus, you start to reposition. Uh, Annie, you are. Spider-Man memeing with the the guard who remains. <laughs> Disguise! Uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean, what? You know what you did! Pulls out a pinlock pistol and he shoots you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that every time Annie's 24. disguised, she gets We don't have those that guns! Is, that hits. <laughs> That's it. You're gonna take 14 points of piercing damage. <laughs> oh, God! Well, I'm gonna blast him. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Don't you just blast him? Yeah, I'm just gonna blast him. Fuck this. Fuck you. <laughs> Roll the hit. 19. That hits. That also hits. Eighteen. Hits. All right, all three. He also gets shoved, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure you have the the, the Eldritch Blast that pushes, right? Mm -hmm. Repelling? Yeah. 10 feet away. Oh my god. 11, Pulse, that was 12, like 13. <laughs> six, uh, 36? Yep. 36. He's still up, but you do shove him 30 feet away, which might be enough to push him off. Hang on, let me measure this real quick. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's just not enough to push him off the edge. He's got ten, he's got five and a half feet before he... Or not five and a half. Like seven feet before he goes flying off the edge. <laughs> Should the, you push him slope? down left? <laughs> oh, the slope! He dies because of No, he's getting pushed away from no. the slope because that's where That Annie slope was. we set up earlier. Over uh, there. Specifically. I'm, I'm just going to summon the tentacle and whack him too. <laughs> He gets shoved backwards, and he's like, oh, what the fuck? And then just a tentacle just... <laughs> Ball check. <laughs> <laughs> While Pulse is rolling to hit with the tentacle, uh, can Lotus, can you make me another stealth check as you're moving? <laughs> that also hits 22. And roll damage. 29. Another 13. <laughs> Another 13. He's still up, but he looks really what? fucked up as this tentacle wax. <laughs> 29. Uh. 29. Goddamn, Lotus. Uh. So. Annie's facing off with this person. Uh. Hickory, from your perspective, the other two people come running out of a tent, see you straight away. As you're there with a spear and an owl. And yep. one of them immediately hefts one of those spears and they throw it at you. Okay. Are you wearing your armor? Yep. But you are wearing your armor. 18. Misses. Sick. That spear, that spear actually goes just over the side. That spear is just gone. Let's go, 481! <laughs> no, my memories! <laughs> uh, the other dude goes running right at you. Hmm. To make a just a melee attack with his spear. He's going to miss. It's gonna make cool. the other one. Twenty-two. Twenty-two? Mm-hmm. That hits. But I'm gonna use that temporal mitigation. <laughs> uh that reduces the amount of damage, right? Mm-hmm. Still okay. hits, but you are going to take 
Uh, do do do. Seven points of piercing damage, and okay. get this other die. Ooh. Okay, I didn't roll too bad. Uh, eight points of uh flat damage. No type. Oh, cool. Anyway, I'm gonna meet that with the mm -hmm. same weapon. So, <laughs> Cryo, I need to know what modifier I roll with to attack back the with spear? the spear. Are you throwing it or, or stabbing with it? I'm stabbing this guy. <laughs> okay. It would be strength or finesse, right? Or yeah, so it is, it is, it is, uh, it is a finesse. Okay. So it can be either. Is it a marshal? It is a marshal. Fantastic. That means so. Doc is proficient. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to roll this with plus 10. Oh, wait, no. Plus, nice. uh, plus, plus eight, right? Eight. Sorry, the yeah. I forgot the final hour. Uh, so that's a dirty 20. Oh, I, I have to correct. Plus nine. Because They're it plus does ones. Plus. So it is 21. 21, which yeah. does hit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, for damage, I need you to roll a D8 of piercing and a D12 of uh, true damage. Six piercing. <gasps> true damage? And true, what is oh. this, fucking Arknights? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And only four <laughs> true damage. That's, hey, that's damage. So 10 total damage. You stab him with this spear and he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then I, I know I've been putting on the hickory voice, but Doc's voice is the one that comes out. Yeah. So Doc just straight up goes, stand down. Fuck you. Okay. That means my my turn, right, Cryo? I mean, it would, it would yes. All right, cool. I'm going to hit him two more times. Sick. Uh, hey, Cryo, can you non-lethal uh, with the spear? This true uh, damage no. tick over? Okay, well. Yeah. This is about to suck for this guy. So that's a 22. Oh, wait, no, plus nine. 22? That's a, sorry, that's Okay, he takes 22 spear. damage. Kill no, 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 22 to hit. Oh, that hits. <laughs> and then that's a good point. Murder. Yep. Um, He's saying your face, kill seven, him. Seven total damage. Uh, three of it is piercing. Four of it is uh, true. Cyclist. Sick. Oh, hit him again. Yep. Uh, <laughs> 26. That hits. Great. Uh, six piercing, two true. Damn. I okay. I like shit with the 12. All right. Uh, before we get into what they do to you next, we'll pop over to Dolis, who jumped up to the ship. Yeah. You know, so I um what my, my intention was as the people on the top deck are looking over towards the explosion i'm sort of like from behind just whoop, like up and down up right in and the, down into that thing yeah. uh are you just trying to be fast or are you trying to be sneaky sneaky okay stealth no advantage of any kind because you're going to bright light Okay, cool. Yeah, you up and whoom, and while they're distracted, they hear like the whoomp, but they don't see you. So they're just like, what? What the fuck? And you fly down into this pitch black space. Yeah, I just fly down and then just snap my finger and thunder wave right into the, like, I'm like a foot away from the beam and just snap. Yeah, you're finger. just right under <sighs> it. And snap your finger and it goes off. Roll over damage. Like these beams do have HP. It's thunder damage, which means uh, double damage. Wait, what? Oh, uh, 34 points of thunder damage. 34? Goddamn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cast, and there's a boom, and you see wood and stuff splinter out in all directions. Just like with the fireball, the other ship, the ramp gets just, like, blasted open from the force. Uh, the beam is still flickering. Like, it is still active. It is just damaged. Uh, do does this beam look damaged enough that I believe I could possibly slice through it with the mana reaver? Uh, yes, but it would have to be a really hefty hit because it is still a big ass beam of wood. 
It gets okay. damaged, but you would have to. It would have to be like a perfect. <laughs> I have an idea. Eldritch slash. Okay, that is a bit pretty big oomph. Pretty good <laughs> way to make it a hefty hit. Yeah. So yeah, I know I thunder wave it and it splinters off, and then I I pull out the mana reaver to go for, to try and just slice through it. You, uh, oh, I guess we're not an initiative, so we don't have to pay attention to action economy. I mean. I, supposedly, I'll try and do that, Mr. Lane, yeah. if that's okay. Uh, that's yeah. a 24 to hit. Uh, that does hit. And so I'm two-handing it, so the first initial damage will be a 10. That's okay. Well, this is going to be a, a good amount of damage, I believe, <laughs> possibly. Okay. Uh, that's 24 more points of damage mixed with slashing and force. The the slash sticks in, and then there's the boom, 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 each of the Eldritch slashes, and the Mana Reaver sinks in and almost through, and then it stops and is jammed in this thing of wood. Uh, Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Plus four thunder damage. Because <gasps> Genie's Wrath. Mm, Genie's Wrath. I made an attack roll. So. Do you add the eight? That's fine. Add my proficiency roll. At least tell me that was you, just enough. You have the perfect feat, you lucky motherfucker. It literally, the perfect amount of extra damage from that little concussive. It's like, crap <sighs> the mana reaver through. And Kay the has perfect feet! Dark. <laughs> the beam goes dark, and ship number four loses levitation. Cool. Uh, I am going up now. Uh, Lotus, you and Hush, we're going to go back to you again. You get positioned for the next fireball on number two. <laughs> Hush, roll for damage. Yeah, I converted spell slots, so this is still at uh, third level. Okay. Uh, roll better this time. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I rolled one better. <laughs> 27! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the bare minimum of what I asked. Yeah, I was gonna say, since Lotus has crazy perception, uh, what do I see from... I was actually just about to tell yeah. you after this second fireball goes off. It's perfect. Perfect time to ask. The second fireball goes in, and the same as the first one it blows out that thing and you saw the other explosion just happen from Dolis, and you see some eldritch blasts and little flashes of light off from where annie and doc are uh annie and hickory uh and as you're glancing around people start flooding from the tents like immediately and you kind of grasp how many fucking people are actually here to help uh Each of these tents must have several, like, bunks because from the mess tent and all these tents, there are literally, like, several hundred people that are now out and coming out into this space. Uh, A bunch of them start running towards the armory. A few of them, as they're running towards the armory, you see them suddenly take off to, like, fly with boots of some sort. Time to go. Time to go. Time Uh, to go. And as the ones are coming towards you and the ships and stuff... You, among all of this, make me an active perception check. Natural 20. Ah! Oh! You are looking over all of this, and the moment that there is the slightest hint of it, your eyes lock on. Uh, the slightest hint of reflection off of metal wings, as from that weird tent up top, uh, the nameless steps out. How's she, How's she looking? looking? Uh, I, with your perfect nat 20, uh, you can see she has bandages and everything all wrapped up. Uh, her wings still look messed up, but they are clearly, like, functional. She's not wearing her mask anymore. Uh, like, her hood is down and everything. Uh, generally, she looks like... The best way of describing it is she's fucked up, but she's up. Uh-oh. Like, I... W- I'll... Look down. Hush. Tell everybody to get out. The nameless is here. Oh, fuck. Ah! Everybody leave! 
Nameless here. Bail, bail, bail. Do y'all need uh, help getting away? Uh, we're fine. Uh, Annie, as those other fireballs and stuff go off and you're still facing off with this dude, he's going to try and shoot you again. All right. <laughs> I forgot. 17. I First level spell. Yes. Shield. Sick. He shoots you, shield it. It off. Blast him off. <laughs> Blast, yeah. He, I, he, I have to go. Bye. <laughs> just roll to see if you hit, because if even one of these hits, he's going <laughs> in, off. You have like a like a all three. <laughs> you like air juggle him like a fighting game. Like he is like ah, 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 and then just goes full falling, twirling into the abyss. You uh, had like a two percent chance not to hit him there. Pretty much. <laughs> I just, but that's a chance. <laughs> uh, do I? Sorry to cut in. Do I see people going towards Dolus's direction? There are people heading towards it. Like, it is like you disturbed a beehive. There are hundreds <laughs> of people going in all the direction. No, there will be nowhere safe in a matter of, like, moments. Okay. Like, this is um, an army camp, and you just woke up the whole army. <laughs> I think... Because uh, Dolus is at four, right? Um, mm -hmm. Uh... <laughs> I will shoot, because I also have Eldritch Blast. I'll just shoot at whoever is leftmost. So then people start getting cons There's more heat there. Okay, and that's where the fireballs are. All right, just make me attack rolls for your Eldritch Blast. Or are you shooting with your spear or your Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast. Okay. Well, I can Eldritch Blast as well. That. Uh, you should focus on fireball. Oh, am I still taking these out? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, I'm just applying heat. I don't necessarily need to hit people. The first one was a seven. The second one is a sixteen. The third one is cocked. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen hits. The others miss. So these eldritch blasts just slam into the ground, and then one dude just gets zoomed. You guys hear people shouting about like up there, up there. Uh, hush. As Lotus is firing Eldritch Blasts, and as Eldritch Blasts start getting fired up at you guys, uh, I I want uh, you to play will... rollies with me for if this fireball lands home. <laughs> oh! oh okay. uh, I was going to say, I'm going to use my, a key point to uh, patient defense. Okay. Uh, and also use my... Wait, who's doing rollies? You're doing. I'm doing rollies. Okay. Yeah, Haj is doing rollies. 18. You beat me with I uh, rolled twelve. So Let's this go. third fireball that you're firing into number five is gonna is gonna make it. Roll for damage. This is bigger. What's a fourth level? Oh, oh, it's bigger. Oh, it's bigger. Oh. 42. Let's go. Yeah. Fix. This 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 time there's a plume of fire that comes out of the top as well. And the people on deck, just the size of it, get kind of wrapped up in some of it, because fireball wraps around corners. <laughs> That's a. I rolled a. God dang! Like the amount of sixes in that one. Yeah. I, Ush, you do note that even as those guys are hit with the fireball, none of the ones up top are downed. That's fucked. I, just, I start leaving. Yeah. yeah. Lotus I'll use just as many key points as I need to. Okay. So I'm Let's see. Very fast. Uh, I'm gonna cast Blade Word on okay. myself. How That's much? Not gonna hit. Fireball. Oh, Blade Word. That's not gonna hit. He I fireballed have... all three that he was after. Oh, okay. Yep. I got that's three. That's not going to hit. And that's not going to hit. None of these Eldritch Blasts hit you. <gasps> but there are a half dozen Eldritch Blasts that go flying past that. <laughs> Definitely the people knew where you were when it happened. Yeah, I, since I had Hush sitting on my arm, I literally just drop him a little bit. Grab him around him. the waist. Yeah, I just drop him. I grab <laughs> him around the waist and I just leave. Uh, real quick. Uh, with Doc. Doc, you are facing off against these two sort of uh, Hickory, Doc. people that you're fighting. Yep. But also, you are within 30 feet, so this is what's going to happen. Mm. Uh, 24 to hit. Shield. Okay. 27 to hit. <laughs> Unfortunately. Shield again. 
Double shield. Double shield. <laughs> 28 to hit. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, Tell One of these still. bullets is stopped. <laughs> Uh, as three bullets shoot into you, you get shot three times. Mm. Uh, you are going to take. Well, I rolled one there, so you're going to take uh, seven damage from the first shot. Hey, hey. Mm. Am I oh, near no. them? Uh, yeah, you're down right of this. You'd be 40 feet away. Uh, the next one, you are taking 17 points of piercing damage. Okay. So these two shots hit you. Uh, you glance over real quick to where they came from. Uh, the nameless out in front That's of that tent. <laughs> He's pointing a revolver at you and shot you three times. Uh-oh! I know that. I don't know that revolver, but I know that revolver. And then as you, you're like, oh shit, it's the nameless. She raises her wings up, and it clearly hurts to do it. Like, you watch them come up, and she has, like, a wince. Uh, but doesn't stop her from just booming over to you. Mm -hmm. uh, she closes that whole gap, like, in no time at all. Yep. Yep, she does. Uh, but she used her action to shoot at you, and her bonus actions... Oh, Let me double-check... Like, I think they all rely on her having landed melee attacks. So, I think you are safe for the moment. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. You are, in fact, safe for a second. Oh, this is so... She just flies over and just oh, like next to you. I would just, like, just above the table. Not any kind of meta gaming or whatever. Just a reminder of how the game's rules work that you fall faster than you can intentionally fly. It's true. Uh, so do with that information as you will. Yep. <laughs> do with that what you will. <laughs> Cryo, I'm about to ask a very stupid question. Sure. What is the process to wrestle a weapon from somebody? Like taking a weapon from someone? It's... Definitely a contested check of some kind. Let me see if there's an official ruling for it. I, I don't know. Uh, there is an optional rule for this. Let's see. Is it strength v strength? Grabbing items. A, you will have disadvantage, uh, and it is contested. It is contested strength. It is contested athletics. Athlete. Yeah. It works like a grapple does. Is this worth my life? No. No, you have disadvantage. Not even remotely. You have like you have like a at least like an eight percent chance of passing. Listen yeah. to your heart. That's Cry yeah, this I'm is... gonna try and take the revolver. Okay. It is a it make yourself strength. an athletics check at disadvantage. Four. First one was an 18, that's a good start. Second one was a 15, that's 19 total. Okay. Contested. Please let me win, please let me win, please it's let me win. It's athletics or is it acrobatics? Athletics. For me, oh, it's either. Sorry, it's athletics. Because it works like a grapple. Oh, never mind. My athletics you're, are, you're athletic. Sorry. My athletics is the oh, same as my luck. strength. I didn't know if I had proficiency. I was rolling straight yeah. strength. No. Uh, huh. 28. So, anyway, as I was saying, action surge. I mean, have you seen Lotus? It just makes sense. Well, so you have you have an additional action. So a grapple counts as a an attack. attack. So you yeah, have so another attack. One of your extra attacks. Well, a grapple is an attack, but is di trying to disarm someone an action or a grapple. Uh, it says it, this is this optional rule lets you utilize. It just says it lets you use the the rules you would use for grapple. So it's a grapple. Or the yeah, okay. thing over. Yeah. So, so it would just so it will just attack. be one attack. Yeah, you still have an attack. Yeah. Okay. Um, this has nothing to do with my attacks. So um, action surge. Okay. Uh, um, okay. <clears throat> Thunder step. I'm getting Ooh. the fuck out of here. Fair enough. 
But I guess Under. for shits she and resisted. gigs. Cryo, make me a con check. I guess with the guards too. Or con, con save. save, right? Yes, yeah, save. I apologize. Um, I know the she's nameless roll passing. three, so she's gonna use a legendary reaction or legendary resistance. Does she still have res legendary resistances? Because it's the same day that we fought her earlier. Oh, she it still has is. one. She she still that. had one left. You only used. This you is only her burned final. two of hers. So yeah, so she uses her legendary resistance. Fuck the guard. And she does I succeed hope. on the second one. Banish burn. There was two, there range. was still a guard within range of me, and I just kind of hoped that that hit him. Oh yeah. He oh, he's fucked. Succeeded on the second one. Yeah. What second one? Oh, the there was no second. She, yeah, she just succeeds with legendary. Okay. It's well, not um, advantage. It just for shits and succeed. gigs here, that's forty ten. Okay. Um, where's my ten? You're my ten. So, okay, ten. 17, 24, uh, 30. So 15 for, well, I guess seven for the nameless and then 30 yeah. for the dude. Yeah, seven for the nameless, 30 for the dude. The dude had already been hit by that spear, so he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like yeah. That dude dies. I'm Where are you thunder stepping to? Annie. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you just over to Annie. And then I'm Annie telling her just to next fucking you. bail. And because this is an initiative cryo, can I throw another spell? Not at them, it's to myself. What spell? Blur. I will say I'll let Annie do whatever Annie's going to do first, and then yes. Okay. All right. Uh, well, they're they're stepping to me, so I'm just gonna be like, all right, hang on. And I'll kind of hug Dimension Door out. Okay, that's a good move. Where are you Dimension Dooring to? It's way off in the distance, it's like just really right far. Somewhere. That's so good. <laughs> good job. Let's go, Pulse, baby. That's my boy. <laughs> like I. I I would probably like as I'm like running though. First, I would ask in my head. Does anyone need help escaping? Uh, I will say as you ask that, Lotus Hush, you guys are pulling away the Eldritch Blasts. You, you're out of range at this point. Dolis, while this was all sort of going on, what did you do after you, you so, blasted this one ship? Uh, I am... Because you are definitely the one who is in the most precarious situation yeah, now. <laughs> so I, as I, as soon as I get to the top, uh... I am, like, if I have to hold an action to do it to try and avoid being, like, targeted by anything, uh, to, because I have my mask on, so Faye touched Misty Step, uh, right over to the nearest ship, uh, okay. and as I am there, on top of the other ship, uh, like, uh, as I'm on top of, so, like, if I'm on four, right, uh, yeah. You were on four, on, you can go to three or six. So I go to six. No, no I go to okay. three. And then on six, I, I pull out from my bag a little bit of a a, a, a yellow... Uh, it's like a little mini jar with a yellow <laughs> dust inside. Uh, and I throw out a bit of sulfur. And on top of that ship, a fire elemental conjures... Uh, and it is going, and I give it the command, burn, burn it down, uh, of which while I am doing what I'm doing, that fire elemental is going to go down and just take up the space of the beam and try and just burn it to a crisp. Okay. So yeah, this fire elemental appears and the guards on top are like, what? and then it just down inside and you watch flames go as they start racing after it and I'm going down underneath this uh, this shot uh, the guards definitely see you as you flop over here uh, sure. say one of them is going to make an opportunity attack as you head down sure 18 <laughs> it does not hit. okay so yeah you dodge out of the way you head down underneath Bam, immediate thunder wave. Okay. Uh, thunder wave, roll for damage. Uh, 
36 points of thunder 36. damage. Yeah, again, there's the other wave that hits, and you see the beam, like, splinter and crack. Not completely destroyed, though. If it doesn't break it, then I just cast Thunder Wave again, as soon as I get another okay. chance to. Uh, roll it again. There are definitely people coming down, down the way. Four. Also, oh you blew the God. ramp open. <laughs> that oh first God. Thunder Wave. Uh, there was multiple eights on these D8s. Uh, uh, 37. <laughs> I rolled multiple eights, but also a c ones. <laughs> You you blast again, and Thunder Wave does it does lovely damage to structures. <laughs> so you watch as it blasts again, and more splinters rip off of this chunk of wood, and the light finally flickers out and dies. Uh, so people are coming. Are people coming down to me? So there are people coming down the steps. You can definitely hear people now outside coming around, and then there's that. <laughs> ramp that is open now in the front that people are rushing to i uh when does he get my message uh i was gonna say he'd probably get your message right around now because you were and you are being like surrounded very rapidly with only the option to like rush out south potentially out of the ramp i can't go up uh if you go up you'd have to get past the people who are coming down the stairs Annie asks if anybody needs help. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Annie does ask if anybody needs help getting out. Uh, I'll say... I might. <laughs> what ship were you at? Number... You're in number three. Three. <laughs> the third one from the left. Any sort of landmarks I can go off of? Apes. There's ships on every side. <laughs> There's, uh, I'm next to multiple oh, ships that are burning, but mine is not burning. All right, perfect. He'll dimension uh, door. She'll she'll dimension door that way. You dimension door in? Yep. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what oh, happens to him? what happens to hit Doc Hickory? They come with me. Yeah. But you, okay. it's a two people thing. Right. Yeah, it's How a spell slots. Oh, you I have. will say though, but it it's a two people thing. So yeah, if you dimension door, Hickory in, is you going can only to dimension. activate the boots. If Annie is making it clear that she's about to cast, Hickory's going to activate the boots and say, Leave me behind. Wait, wha because why? Because if you dimension door and pull Hickory Dog with you, we can't get out. I mean, can't you the just dimension three. door yourself? Leave Hick on. Yeah, that's what we're we're trying to the broom? tell them to do. Uh, yeah, the broom could say. Let I... me let me let me cook. <laughs> let okay. me cook. All right. Let, let him cook. Mind. All right. With you... me. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna let Pulse cook. <laughs> Let's go. Pulse, you pop them both in. All right. Uh, and then I'll be like, oh, seems like we're getting surrounded here. Come here. Yes. We all go invisible. <laughs> oh. Hold yeah. on to me. There are we'll the dudes the coming room. down the stairs, and there is there's that moment of panic <laughs> as you see some people start coming around the front of the ship, and all of you, as these people are entering this space, you all just like gone. Uh is Okay, so we're we're gone and we're on Eddie's broom. Make stealth make a stealth check for me with, with advantage. advantage. All of yeah. it. With advantage. Wait, me or all of us. Everyone. All of you. <laughs> a four and then okay. a 17. <laughs> Go. 21. Nice. Uh, 18. <clears throat> Damn, I was really hoping it was contested strength. That no, uh, What's you up? put your armor on. Oh. It's the four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as we're going up, Mm -hmm. Do would I like notice that Hickory Doc is making a lot of noise? Yes. Uh, synaptic static on the area beneath us. As we're everyone going. beneath you. Everyone. Wouldn't that, all wouldn't like, that drop hundreds your hundreds of guards? That would drop yeah, your. Yeah, but we're uh, getting we're about to get shot at anyways because we failed that stealth check. So. 
uh, make me intelligence saves, Cryo, in a uh, six <laughs> complete <laughs> failure. Uh, <laughs> uh, Uh, 35 points of, uh, psychic damage to everyone, uh, around. Ow. And all of them. All, and since they all failed, they all have muddled thoughts for the next minute. Uh, minute. During that time, they roll a d6 and subtract the number rolled from all attack rolls, ability checks, and con saving throws to maintain any kind of concentration. I will say, you definitely caught, like, two dozen dudes in this. <laughs> like, this definitely hit a huge, like, a crowd of people under you as you take out. Off. So yeah, uh, we are just going. As you guys are heading out. <laughs> oh, when the next time I'm able to cast a spell, I'll, I'll pull out the rod. Uh, I'm going to cast Shadow of Moil on us. So then there is, as we're flying up <laughs> into the night, we, there, we come completely dark. Nice. Uh, well... None of none none of these are hitting you. They're none of that one would have, but it's definitely not if I roll anything to make it drop. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, several again, self, several gunshots and eldritch blasts and a few spears get thrown and shot at you. You guys are Annie. You are d dodging out of the way, uh, and then you are suddenly all wrapped in shadow, uh, and all of you are. Flying away, you get out of range of Eldritch Blasts and guns and, and that sort. Fuck you. Um, I have a spear my... now. <laughs> Should we find the children? I think they're they're fine. The Lotus is uh, fine. I was going to say, as you guys are flying away, uh, Hickory, with your passive perception and you not being, like, worrying about flying the broom... You see the Nameless come down on the deck of the ship that the Fire Elemental is currently, like, tearing up. And it's she lands. It's not tearing up the ship. It's just specifically... It's, yeah, it goes down beam. to the beam. Oh, you know, the beam is burnt at this point. Oh, it is now just burning gone. the ship, is what I was about to say. <laughs> okay. It's hung. I'm like, it has started to, like, chew through the deck, so there are, like, holes in the ship. Yeah. I, uh, I was going to say, just as, if, oh, as soon as I know or notice that the ship is... Uh, down, I release my concentration on Condra Elemental, which does not stop the Elemental from being there. I just don't give it orders. It's just <laughs> where I'm like, killing people. I was going to say, she lands on deck with this thing, and you just, from a distance, you watch just boom, 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 boom. She just shoots this thing until it just ceases to be. Like, she just... She fires way too many bullets to be in a revolver. Like, she cycles the thing several times, and then this fire oh. elemental just flickers out. Uh, That's concerning. Make an active perception check for me, Hickory. Hey, hey. Uh, 16 plus... What the fuck is her perception? Uh, 16 plus 3, and technically I have advantage. So, read for the crit. No, 19. Sick. Uh, you faintly, over all of the rackets and ruckus and everything, uh, you do hear Lotus's voice, like, scream out. Uh, just, fuck. Fucker? Fire. Fire. Uh-oh. Uh you guys, as you're pulling away, you have a moment of just like, what does that mean? And you see some of the cannons that are on the ground between the ships. You just suddenly see... <laughs> uh, uh -oh. Annie, please, as you are piloting, make a deck save, as there is just a volley of cannonballs and artillery that get <laughs> launched in your guys' direction. <laughs> Well, I mean, do they know our direction? They know the direction you were going. You turned into a shadowy <laughs> ball. <laughs> you started flying. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Perfect. So yeah, 
you guys do not get hit. Uh, because again, holes. they don't know exactly where you are. They just know the direction you went. But it is <laughs> it is just a field of dozens of cannonballs just come flying past you, whizzing by and everything. Annie is just dodging as she pulls up and away from everything <laughs> until eventually you go over. One of the cannonballs as you're rising just kind of comes in, kick on the back of the broom. You just watch the bristles on the back just get like, <laughs> buy some of these. <laughs> Can I make uh, an illusion? at the max distance away that seems like it's going like in a different direction than us, but it's like us on the broom. Sure. Cool. I do that. <laughs> you do indeed. You in this illusion pull away. A few extra shots are fired towards the illusion. You so, guys slip away from the army camp. Nobody dead. <laughs> We didn't disable the cannons. However, we disabled enough ships to where they can't take all of the cannons. We disabled, we disabled all of the ships. All of the ships are non-flying anymore. Sick. We we destroyed the, the mast in the middle of all of them. At least all the ones that are here. Yep. So. Fuckers. Our turn to ambush. Uh, kids, Again. you flew away and you just flew a solid distance away, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. You were just getting out of dodge. I... Yeah don't want to enter the rocks territory though so solid i will specify you guys are probably still in the rocks territory <laughs> yeah <laughs> not like not like you don't want to go off into that area alone yeah fair yeah uh, i so i you check wait. in with everybody as like we yeah. were like we're safe we're we're away are you guys on your way Indian balls we're flying <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, 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 ball. i think they're swimming Where's on the way? Leaving. Well, yeah, but where are, are you leaving? leaving? Yes, yes, I'm leaving. <laughs> Start flying in the direction that we flew there. The way we came, yeah. The way we came. Mm. I'd be good at directions because I, I have. You do have that background. Yeah. I forget oh, yeah. Annie also <laughs> has that background. <laughs> Thank so, God, because yeah. that minus two intelligence would be hurting hurting <laughs> so yeah you guys set off in the direction maybe like 15 minutes later you guys eventually all reconvene in like a calm space away from all of that like it is it is gone now you can't see they it was hectic for a while as you were flying away there were still cannon fire and oh, shouting and it fires and explosions and stuff it was like everybody approaches like did anybody get a weapon yeah please why? Because that's me. Amber. That's me. I wanted it because that's me. Why do you want it? Look at it! And a cryo. Can I roll yeah. an insight check to see if this is like a hush? Like, ooh, I want the weapon because that's the Amber. Or if it seems like it's something more malicious. That's between you and Hush. <laughs> uh, well, never mind. <laughs> Six I was total. Gonna, I was going to roll it's a persuasion total. or deception. I have them in both. Sorry, no, I rolled a, in total. I rolled an ad 20 <laughs> on this thing that I wasn't trying to hide. I yeah, know. Dolan still has the mask on. He doesn't give a shit, actually. Never Wait, mind. It, before <laughs> Hickory works. hands it over, she's like, but what do you have to gain? You got everything back. Just give me the spear, please. They made weapons out of me, Hickory. I think I get to have one. He has a point. Just give him the spear. We don't have time for this. We need to go. Fine. Takes a spear. He can't even. He goes and examines the tips. It's made of my memories. I feel like there's a little bit more of a personal connection to it when it's made out of something that you've been swimming in for a thousand years. You have a you have a sword that you can summon at any time. You wouldn't use this. You have I psychic knives. I don't use them. I got shorter again. I just realized. <laughs> I reset my chair. I'm. So we both been getting shorter this whole time. It's okay. Hush it takes so it and like is like hanging, like hanging, hanging from Lotus and just like goes and he puts his thumb up against the amber. Is it really his amber? 
you put your thumb against it and there is immediately that sort of eerie resonance you felt when you were in that cavern with Agra Hill's Amber. Like you feel it through your thumb up into your hand. It's definitely way weaker. It's not like, like it has gone through a refining process. Yeah. It is not the same anymore, but that's definitely where it's from. You know, again, like Hush holds his thumb to it and then in his head just boom, boom, boom. Why are they making weapons out of my amber? Are you what actually asking them? that? Y yes. No, I'm sorry. I'm asking above yeah. the table. Yeah, he's saying that a lot. Because it's probably more common than air right, but close enough to actually make something out of it. But not every not every material is meant to be a weapon. Why the amber? It's just memories. It's just why does it give a a weapon advantage? It makes that doesn't make sense to me. Why did they take have, my amber? If you have a creature that knows almost everything, and this material is made out of it, in a weird way, wouldn't the material know how to find the weaknesses of something? Maybe we just have Twink examine it when we get back. He'll probably be able to figure out why. For now, we should go. They might try to follow us. There are those of them who could fly, and also we are still in the rocks territory. So we need to go. Put that on his back. I worked so hard to steal that thing. Motherfucker. <laughs> you said I grab it, and I hit him with it, and flew away. Yeah, it wasn't your ass on the line for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was blowing up the ships. Anyways, uh, anyways. Uh, you Thank guys you set off. Uh, uh, one of the birds made me a survival check and the other made me a stealth check. And we'll use those. I'm Who's good better? with both, so. Well, yeah, I'm, just... I'm not good with stealth, so I'll do that. Well, don't you have a plus seven to survival? Yep. Let's go. Dirty 20. Nine. Uh, Dolus, you try and set all of you on a path that you hope will avoid interacting with this giant ass bird you know is somewhere. Uh, and Lotus, you take the lead on quiet flying. Uh, and as both of you are going along, uh, at one point, you guys off in the distance uh, on an island, Lotus, you would see it. It doesn't see you because you're all flying so quietly, but way in the distance, just peeking above the tree line, you do see the back of a giant bird. Careful to our side, I say telepathically. Uh, let's go Shit. more this way. I try and veer everybody into it. Yeah, it so, like, I, I will suggest, as opposed to just like veering, let us go hard right <laughs> just away from it and then turn back and continue on the path forwards okay okay you guys fly straight away from this thing lotus leads you on the the best path of of silence and eventually you guys get oh far enough distance away that you no longer feel like if you make noise this rock is going to hunt you down <laughs> You guys are just uh. <laughs> So now do you understand exhaustion? That sounded like a like a breath of exhaustion. Hmm. I think so. That's good. Annie has felt the first thing in millennia and it's <laughs> being tired. <laughs> Pretty good thing to feel all all considered. Uh, means I, you're alive. <laughs> I will uh, try and use, like, cause I I'm probably moving the slowest just because my float speed is not very fast. And so, like, as I'm like in the back and everyone's looking forward, I do try and uh, take off the mask and like withhold any like 
I, I, I once again, like, I, I'm doing my best to not make any audible reaction, but then I am disguising myself to make myself not look like I am feeling the overwhelming right. emotions. Make a wisdom save. <laughs> Wisdom save. Oh, I'm good at this. Uh, dirty 20. Nice. I have so, a yeah. plus 8 to wisdom saves. In the back of the group, you pull the mask off and you do, you have another, like, a, one of those moments of just, oh, like it hits you. You slow down in flight. You kind of pull yourself together and you gather yourself, wipe away some of the tears that come, and you rush off to catch up with everybody. You too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. Been there. Can't you just as as we're flying, Hush is just holding up the spear, just like running his thumb up and down it. It's like he's be he's being carried and then he has his arms wrapped. Just like like Lovingly holding this spear and touching it. Precious. Get it? He, he pressed out the blood off it. I should have stolen two. <laughs> yes, you should have. I told you to get multiple. I'm sorry. Oh. I got shot by the fucking. <laughs> uh, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. <laughs> yes, Lotus. Didn't Aldrich have one? I he, it's the, the one, one the from Aldrich gave it to. Yeah. I thought you got a different one. Nah. Yeah. So, you guys you hit the. You can just have the rest of your painful, slightly awkward flight back, or chat, or do whatever. But like, you were just you just fly back. Anything else you want to do on the way? I need a dinner roll on my way back. It's like as we're flying. Just did you guys fight the nameless? Mm-hmm. How was she? Was she back to full? No. But she didn't care. I mean, sounds about right. She's got a weird gun. Weird gun? Hurts a lot more than a gun like that should. Uh, I mean, guns hurt. What kind yeah. of gun? A rifle? You know it's a handgun, and you know it has, like, spinning bits, but you have never seen a revolver before. Handgun, spinning chamber. Actually, you have seen a revolver. The, uh, one of the people who attacked you in the ambush uh, that Matthias got killed in had a revolver. Right. Uh. You wouldn't know what it was called, but yeah. you, you know what it looks like. Handgun. This is a revolver. <laughs> Handgun, spinning chamber, uh, multiple shots. A revolver. You do know what a revolver is. <laughs> revolver. Hey, I'm crazy smart. Does that... Does Lotus put two and two yeah, together? That immediately yeah. comes together for you, especially because uh, you wanted that gun. Oh, uh, oh no. All right. Well, I mean, I, I guess we know the good thing that we know that she has it. What is it? What? Um. So Harmon had a gun, mm -hmm. oh. and uh, the nameless stole it from him when she crippled him. So mm -hmm. that's definitely Harmon's uh gun. Great. Is uh, it? You guys would also know because you were told recently, uh, presumably. That that gun is engine made. Yeah. yeah. Ow. Well. So hush, you owe me, cause that hurt. I. As like, there's like the weird tension in the air. Everyone's really tired. Wait, wait, Lotus, slow down. Everyone, hold up. What's up? Float over. And I float behind Lotus and open up her backpack and I pull out the lemon bars and hand everyone one. Can you feed me? My hands bar. are full. Give uh, me two. 
I give Annie two. I give Hush one, and I give. Uh, I don't know if I should Doc eat Hickory another lemon one. bar. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. If you puke on me, you have to press do me clean. He's facing that is away a deal. from you. No, I'm like I'm like being carried like like how I carry Cubone. Like where yeah, he's just like but his, you're yeah. facing away. Oh from yeah. Him. Yeah. Oh, yeah you're right. You're right. I can still go down my dad, my back. No, kind of does he, the. You're not like you're not. You're no, not, you're, you're not facing like forward and I'm right facing here. forward. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. It could still the wind could still blow it back. <laughs> oh no! Ew. How big are the lemon bars? <laughs> lemon bugs. They're like the size. They're the size of like a cosmic brownie. Oh yeah, she oh. would just she would stuff two in her mouth. Just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> prop work. <laughs> nice. Roll for that. Oh. Are you gonna eat? Roll that? for. Roll for those for, of, for you, no, don't roll for it. You don't. You're eating oh, the lemon bar. Roll for it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 stu I stuffed two lemon bars in my mouth. Like, oh. <laughs> for you, yeah. For you podcast listeners, Paul just shoved a water bottle in his mouth. It was a, it was a muscle up. milk. <laughs> not sponsored. Sponsored. I mean, not and, sponsored. Mus muscle milk. Not sponsored. sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> Man, dude, oh this, my god! This, you didn't have any other brownie shaped thing. You could, you have manga behind no, you. You could have no, tried. No, I have <laughs> this electric plug. Do it! Yeah, yeah, no! Put that, <laughs> put, put that in your mouth and then plug the other end into the wall. <laughs> oh wait! Let's go! An oh, HDMI oh, you, plug. No, no! So no. oh, you guys are flying. So the rock shows up. Uh, <laughs> wait, can I get a Do spear? smell? <laughs> I'm behaving. <laughs> You, get a you guys are flying along. Everything's fine. You get back to the third roost. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, uh, we're going to the palace, not going to the fucking shitty ass stupid city. Yeah, you guys just fly raw straight over, straight to the. Annie, do you need help eating? Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah! I. Mm. Over. Mm. Yeah, just like, mm. trying to push. You mm. <laughs> 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 spit them out. <laughs> no, she'll, like, she'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> she, you'll see her like charge and he'll just blast. Hush, ask her what she's oh doing. God. Annie, what are you doing? I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Come, tell him to fuck off. <laughs> There's like, there's like, you're like, tell him to fuck off, and and you feel the brownies getting, or the Limbards get pushed in your mouth as an invisible <laughs> mage hand, just like. <laughs> Annie, you eat your lemon bars. And then you feel just a little pat on your back. You get knocked off your broom. You fall <laughs> into the abyss. I remember this. You don't know it was me. <laughs> Who else was <laughs> really the only person What do you mean? <laughs> no, I'm trying to be. Anytime he's like, you remember this? I fucking <laughs> eat. I eat nails or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <I think. laughs> I forced you. You can to fear eat your Annie's. I'll remember this. What you should fear is Hickory's. You owe me. <laughs> I don't know you shit. <laughs> oh yeah, the fuck you do. I got shot hey, by the revolver hey. for that. I gave you the clap. I did not Thank get you. shot by the revolver for that. Aldrich got it and handed it to you. There was I got no it. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. That. I gave you. I gave you the armor clip. That was you paying me back for the armor that armor clip. You know, that's fair. That's you know. Moving on from whatever is <laughs> happening here. I don't know what you happening. guys get back to the palace. <laughs> You guys Just come in for a landing. We Grab a lemon I bar and then staff. lay down. <laughs> Grab a lemon bar floor. and lay down. On the floor. You just lay on the floor of the fucking balcony of the entrance. Yeah, just... Oh, he's pulling out his props again. Oh. Like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just flip your hat over and put it on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cover your face, and he's just laying there tired. Barely we're here. There's a moment of silence, and then you just hear like the sound of someone eating almost as obnoxiously as Annie just was. You turn, and Kylie's just got a lemon bar. And she's just... <laughs> 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 
We're back. How'd it go? None of you were dead. Mm -hmm. We uh, eliminated a three fourths of their armory weapon supply and destroyed the uh, flying component of all six of the airships that we saw. I'm doing like, you know, like when you regale somebody about stuff, I'm just doing that behind Dolis. <laughs> Like an interpretive dance. He, do, he does a very basic explanation as you're like, <laughs> boom, behind <laughs> him. And immediately Kylie just goes, yes, perfect. And suddenly there is a Kylie in front of each of you just high five, like the chorus of them. I, I blew up their ships. Whoa. I don't want to I get sunk up their high. battleships. I don't want she to. She grabs get your hand, high. Annie, and she makes it so you <laughs> high five her. That you just, you just bag into one. Just. That's just still holding his spear, so he just gives a little, you know, when somebody just is like, high five, and you're just like, head. No, I don't usually head, but high fives, but I get the idea. I get the idea. That happens weapons, to me quite often. Uh, are made, are engine made first off and made of abolith steel at the tip, which kind of nods over to hushes. Ooh, I have no idea what that means, but it sounds interesting. They're made of well, I know what engine made is. I was there when Raiden got his. He was so happy about it. They, well, they more specifically, they're it. made of Hush's Aboleth Amber. Gross. They took it's my like anger. if somebody made a knife out of my toenail clippings. Oh. Oh. It's more. It's more than this the thing. It's my memory. It's like if you made a knife out of your dog's sense of humor. Like, it's like a feeling. The point is... Ooh, okay. Or like if I if I made a if I made an arrow out of my my uh, murderous intent. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay. The point is they're grounded for the time being. Um, we didn't exactly make a ton of headway as far as thinning the herd, but... There were so many of them. Oh, yes, it's an army. They things outnumber us started, three to one. Things started happening, and they just came out like bees from in a beehive. Oh, yes, there's there's several hundred of them. The mm. Nameless is still it's, injured, but is mobile again. It's a good thing you went when you did. Otherwise, she might have kept up with you. She's also got Harmon's gun. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, nasty little piece of work. I saw him shoot several people with that a long time ago. Do you know what it does? It hurts like a bitch. Fair enough. Also, it lets him track. If he shoots you with it and you don't die, he knows where you are for several days. Uh-oh. Are the Is it something with the bullets or is it just like a, a binding of magic? The magical thing. Uh, like a uh, hunter's did you, mark. Did you, did you get hit with it? Twice. Okay. I mean, that's fine. She already knew you were coming here. Fair. And she knows where here is, so. However, if you do plan to ambush her when she does come to siege, you, pointing at Hickory, will not be helpful. <laughs> Can I dispel it? You use a high enough of something, maybe. I don't know. I never tried to dispel it. I was on Harmon's side when he was using it. Would it be... Would the tracking still be on you if you fell asleep and woke up in Hickory's body? Ooh. If you change bodies. Damage to my hand still stayed. True. Oh, yeah, I guess it would just shift the body. I don't know. Regardless, it's not something that is immediately a threat to us. But it's good to know that she has, you know, a ranged option in a fight, because she wasn't dangerous enough up close. Ryo. Yes. Quick question. From when we arrived or the, from when we started moving in to like observe and do our plans to when things started popping off how much time was that the whole time you were in there planning and everything 
Well, so like from the point where we were like, okay, let's go in and check things out to when like the first whistle went off. Uh, from the point that you left the ruins and flew down around the camp to the first whistle going off, it was probably just a few minutes, maybe two at most. Annie had detect magic up and was near those spears. What kind of magic are those spears enchanted with? Ooh, they are all enchanted with evocation magic. Okay. I just I didn't know if it was something like special. They or... don't do anything extra besides that that damage. So Annie, Annie wouldn't have seen any special effects on them. Okay. Just want to make sure. Just in case. That is good. That is good to know. You did have to tech magic up. Annie, you also would have seen the gun because it would have been within range of you and it was also magical. Also your location? Yeah, it's also just the same kind of magic that like most magical weapons have. Did I see the bullet location for extra damage? Probably saw the bullet wounds. I'm probably still bleeding that magic. Well, you, she wouldn't see it anymore. The detect magic. Yeah, is when you had detect magic up, you probably would have seen some magic on Hickory, but it's nothing notable. Mm. Um, I forget the Hickory and Doc also just kind of glow with fucky magic. Um, but yeah, I will say it is. It is. A, it is like above the table. It is just like the effects of Hunter's Mark. So you could remove it with a high enough to spell magic. I can't use any more Hickory's magic today. Nope. Well, yeah, so you guys, Kylie's just like, you all look like you could use a rest, medical attention. It looks like you're fine on food, though. And she wipes some powdered sugar off of Hush, like, Hush's face. <laughs> I'm fine Still physically. Playing. I'm just so tired. I have no more magic in my body. Me too. Well, I do, but not a lot. Not uh, Haley. Uh, Haley looks at you, Dolis, as you're like, I'm so tired. And then she gives like, she looks at you and then she looks at the mask like hooked to your like hip. And then she just. All right, in all of you. Okay. Could I have clocked that? That's hella perception, what's your, dude. What's your passive insight? Like 20, oh, 14. Insight. 14. Well, well goddamn, yes, you could get, clock it. <laughs> could I have clocked it? Uh, agree with your passive? 17. Um, like, you are they contact? clocking just the, the look of like, uh, or the like, look of disapproval from Kylie? Or like, are they seeing her specifically look to my hip, to my mask? Hang on, I'm doing some like rolls. A, I'm, yeah, I'm doing some rolls. I'm determining the, this at this moment. Uh, Hickory, you're busy. You're busy dealing with your injury and also kind of moping about the spear as you have been for the last like 20 minutes. Uh, Lotus is right behind Dolis, as was just discussed. And like, so Hickory, you notice that there is clearly like some sort of disapproving look from Kaeli. Lotus, you notice the disapproving look and you notice the glance at the mask. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to head inside. And then Kaeli's like, yep, in, all of you. You all head in. He does not immediately follow you as you all go in. <laughs> Back. Go. And he get up. No. There's a comfortable bed. <laughs> Annie, get up. Snaps figures. Annie, your leg in the foyer, just right in front of the group. Now in front of the door. Perfect. <laughs> Annie, would you like me to take you to your bed? Can you lift me? I walk over and I pick you up. I don't imagine Annie weighs too much. She's an elf. 
and he weighs 382 pounds. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Her clothes she's, probably had a lot elves. of extra weight. Actually, you know, I say that, but Annie's art, she got curves for days. If you want me to make a, a strength. I was going to say, actually, I'm like, I'm like, Dolas, you don't have super high strength. So you're like, Annie, I'll carry you. You go pick Annie up and you're like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I rolled a 17, so that's a 16. <laughs> yeah, so you do pick Annie up, but it does. You you go to pick her up at first, and you're like, oh, heavier than I thought. And you do you yeah. like readjust how you're picking her up, and then you get her. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, like, walk, I pick her up, and then I just start floating. So all my strength is just to holding her aloft. Yeah. So you get her up, and you start just floating float away. Dallas, do you just want me to float Annie to her? Or you oh, got I've it. already started. <laughs> yeah, you walk, you walk floating. I just I one of the weird. like what are the nurse sort of attendants of the triage area steps forward and she's like are you is she okay does she need aid she kind of she's, looks over she's oh but we have medicine she's experiencing exhaustion for the first time uh yeah if you could oh. bring some medicine to uh, her room if you could follow over and see which one it is oh great. of course yeah, and she walks over to start getting medicine right do you have a cure for the tired <laughs> sleep for the tired sleep perfect Wonderful. <laughs> all of you get all are you all heading back to your rooms? Yeah. Mm. On the way, yeah. Hush pings the lotus just put the spears now. Yeah. Is it weird to just want to hug a weapon? No, I hug Kyle all the time. All the time? Mm -hmm. I don't want to let this one go. Just Let me know if you ever need help carrying it, because it seems big. It is very big oh. for Hush. I'll show Hush, you like, the best uh, way to hold it. How the hell big is the spear? You said six feet? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Hush has like, Hush is holding it, and it's sticking out to the side. Yeah, it is to either side sticking out, and he's, because he's holding it near the top to rub the edge, it's just like, probably dragging along behind you, kind yeah. of dinking the floor every now and then. <laughs> Just sitting, he's just walking with it, holding it, like moving his thumb over the, the tip of it and going down. Just as feeling the amber part. As he's been like holding it and like fucking inspecting it the whole time, would Hush, like I'm just saying, like would he be able to see or check, like is it an item that can be attuned to? Or is it just a spear made out of a material? Is it just uh, a plus one spear? You guys want to identify like it, you could. Oh, I just added a plus one amber spear. I will, at a point, get this to be identified. Yeah, yeah. we can do it tomorrow. It is clear yeah. that it does have an ability that is inherent, regardless of whether it's attuned to or not. Because when Hickory used it, it's true. Hit. It's yeah. true. Uh, yes, Ray. Can't you identify it yourself by just taking an hour? Yeah, just take an hour, and you'll identify it. I mean, Hush has been pretty uh, rubbing it and adoring it for the past couple yeah. of hours of flight. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I have not stopped thinking about this and just like sitting with this this amber. Oh, amber okay, spirit. I'll be nice. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Uh, this is an engine botched spear. Oh. Botched. Mm hmm. It's not air right, so yeah. Uh, the only effect it has is that additional damage, which uh, technically has no type. It is just damage that is taken on injury. Uh, it also, when that damage hits, there is a bright flash of light that pour, like courses through the edge, and it's orange because the amber is orange. But otherwise, that is all that it does. Hmm. Just a fancy spear. Go. Cool. So. He just walks a, with it and a, he just holds it next to himself. D8 piercing and then a D12 of some kind of flat damage. That's kind of nuts damage. I will remember this. Cool. Did I go I... back? I go. I. Pe I keep saying Pierce. Hush is specifically going to lay down because there was a. Can we please get a rest? No. 
<laughs> like he is, he is taut. He is, he is out. goes right to his room. I go to mine and presumably Alina's room. You go to yours and Alina's room, and Alina is already in there. She is sitting at like a little desk to the side. Uh, she has like taken off her witch hat and taken off a bunch of like the extra robes and stuff. So she's just in like her pants and the like the tank top. She turns. She's like, oh, my God. Hi, you're alive. <laughs> I wanted to send, but I thought you might be the, like, I didn't want to uh, accidentally. I didn't want to. I didn't want you to be like in the middle of a fight and you couldn't be distracted. And then you suddenly get a message from your girlfriend like, hi, are you good? Are you alive? How's I everything going? Walk over in the middle of her talking and just give her like a little kiss on the forehead. And oh, hi sit down on the bed and just immediately just flop back and like spread my arms Ugh. i'm so okay. tired and she reaches over and she just turns out the light <laughs> closes we, her book i waited to, to give you update again no we, it's we okay she just climbs into bed with you of three-fourths of the armory of their weapons are gone mm -hmm. and we blew up all of their airships She's like, as she's snuggling up to you, she's like, mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, that's good. The airships are, go they're blew uh, we blew them up. That's good. That means they can't fly them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go to bed. Just <laughs> snoring. <laughs> you just pass out. I yeah, know, I, Dolus has been out of spell slots like four times over today. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> I have I didn't ever since the nameless fight I've been at max HP I've just been using all of my abilities through from all of my classes and all my whatever. Yeah, I am you are exhausted. burnt of everything. It's been a long day. Annie, you you got dropped off in your room on your bed, and then an Eric Hakra came in after Dolus and gave you, like there was like a little a little glass of something that she put down and she's like drink that it'll it'll help you sleep. Okay. Does that have any effect on an elf? <laughs> I love that you didn't it's do it. It's not magical. Drink. It's warm milk with honey. It's just oh. a nice drink. From, from like your camera's perspective, you didn't drink it. You said, okay. Like you fucking like just tossed <laughs> it on your yourself face. in the face. <laughs> Pour it on my... <laughs> Pour it on your face. You're like, this is not working. <laughs> I actually feel more to awake. Me. I will remember this. I will remember this. Yeah. You have the drink, and then she's like, just get some rest. Do you feel better I, at all? Do I? <laughs> I know. No. The drink was nice. Tastes good, though. That's good. Okay. How do you feel? Bye. <laughs> Heads out. She oh, okay. She <laughs> just said, ignores me. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I said, how do you feel? <laughs> oh, you're like, how do you feel? And she's like, concerned. Why? Uh, because you were exhausted and one of your friend had several injuries and others just all went to bed. A pretty normal occurrence. Oh. Party tank, baby. I'll Party be tank. less concerned then. I pose is there anything else you need ma'am mm. were you injured at all do you need bandages or more to drink mm, maybe uh, a big meal oh I thought madam Kylie was was that's fine I'll I'll get you some food I've, I've had like seven lemon bars. Oh. Okay. Not great nutrition. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> Heads off. Lotus, you get into your room. <clears throat> no, where are you going? Just walking around the palace. Okay. All the rest of you head to your to your rooms. Hickory, are you lay are you just laying down? Yeah, probably. I've been uh, shot. I don't have anybody to talk to, so. Yeah, yeah. that Eric Hakura comes in after she talks to Annie to your room. She just has bandages and some salve, and she's like, here you go. 
Thank you. Do you need anything else? I get, go get food for the elf, and I, I, I got her some warm milk if you'd like some. Do you have tea? No. Milk is fine. Thank you. Okay. Heads off. Yeah, Hickory starts patching up her own wounds. Hickory, Annie, you were both brought food, and uh, Hickory, you were also brought your own cup of warm milk with honey. Let's go. Annie would ask her endless questions about her job and why she's here in the first place. She would actually what, appreciate that. And, and what kind of bird she is. <laughs> I'm an Anacocra, so... I'm not really a kind of bird, but I, I we all have similarities, so that's understandable. I guess I would be closest to... I didn't have this ready. Let wow. me just look Rolling up a random bird. Peacock. <laughs> Roll for bird. bird generator. There's a random bird generator? That's an accident. There's a oh. random soup generator. I did, we, There's a random soup generator that we looked at for like fucking six well, I hours. I remember that. Uh, she's like, I guess the closest thing I would be to from the material plane is a skua. <laughs> truly is I actually know what that is. I looked. It was the first I've thing in the random generator. Really cool. They're a, they're a kind of seabird. They're I think they're a sub genus of hawk. They're a, they're a seabird. Oh. So they're like between a seagull and a hawk, a skua. Oh, it's with wow. you. They're like an angrier looking seagull. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this? Ray, I got the same result. <laughs> I got the same result. S K U A. I, I did double O's as well. <laughs> yeah. I hate uh, that. What for reference context, to everybody, yeah, the, a um, skua S K O O A. If you Google skua, it brings you picture of a car. It's a car so brain. many oh. cars. It's a car brain. So many cars. Yeah, uh, my original one gave me this. Car. <laughs> they're not even skuas. They're skodas. Yeah, it's just like auto -curve. Bro got scuba. <laughs> <laughs> How much does, ever, does it ever bother you that how much people in the material plane eat meat? <laughs> what? No, I mean, I eat meat all the time. No, like bird meat. Oh, no, I eat bird meat all the time. Interesting. Birds eat birds. Because I probably wouldn't eat elf. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of fair. It's like the difference between... I mean... Birds are, I, don't, I guess there's not really a relevant comparison. It's like the difference between you eating a strange little fey animal and eating an elf. Like... You come from Fey, you're similar to Fey, but you're not Fey. And it's just a little animal. You eat it. Mm. I mean, I don't know if you eat it, because I aren't elves vegetarians, or is that is that a stereotype? Racist. You know. Am I an elf? Hmm. That's a good question. I think um my uh my dead stepbrother was Somewhat of a <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> oh. Okay. Before um, or after he does. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely after. <laughs> um, kind of nod. But she goes back to, to <laughs> getting your food out. Do you need anything else, ma'am? <laughs> Maybe more of that honey when I wake up. Although I'm not going to be sleeping, I'm just going to be meditating. I do know that elves usually just meditate for sleep, but I I don't know if it's better for you to sleep properly. But in my opinion, when I'm really tired, proper night's sleep does me good. Hmm. Would I, would I know what that does for me as an elf? I assume, yes. It doesn't actually do any different thing versus... <laughs> Sleep versus trance for elves. Trance is exactly the same as if, as sleep for you, except your passive perception doesn't get affected because you're technically mm. still awake. And the only thing it does for me is help me dream. 
Oh. Maybe I'll try dreaming. There you go. Maybe that's nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go check on your your friend. Mm. You're doing a good job. Okay. Hey, thank you. I think so too. Okay. Good night. And she like <laughs> awkwardly stepped out. <laughs> And then, yeah, to, to, to you, Hickory, she comes in and she's like, how are you? Hickory has basically, like, just taken off all the layers and just stripped to the bandages to wrap them up properly. Um, mm -hmm. And she's like, fine. I mean, you get used to stuff like this. That's what the other one was telling me. How are you? And I'm, I'm, why do you? All of you keep asking me about me. I'm a nurse and you're injured. I, I'm a cleric, so I'm used to treating injuries too. So is I, the I other know. one a cleric or is she just weird? She just has no emotions, literally. Weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go if you're okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Down. Goodbye. He just walks off. Hush. What about you? What'd you get up to? Oh, Hush is just laying in his bed. He's not asleep, though. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, Hush is just laying on his bed. Just with the spear, just like next to his head. And there's like just kind of like this weird energy in the room that Hush is putting off. So he's just laying there, just laying there, fidgeting with it, looking, looking angry. No, he's just staring. Oh, he's not. He's the, just it's the most game. blank stare is he's just staring he's at this, like the, the orange. OK. And last but not least, Lotus, you are wandering the palace grounds. It's like of... when you know you have a big thing tomorrow, so you're getting like the... the there's no melatonin that's being built in your body because you're, you're too... You're too anxious to rest. I, don't, I wouldn't say anxious, it's just too much. Got it. So she's just wandering around. Uh, so all she really did was fly uh, during that. So she has a lot more energy compared to everybody else. So she's hoping to get get it all out. Do some stretches here and there. Uh, you're just going out and around. Doing your stretches. You go through Kylie's like nice little sitting room. You walk through some other wings of this palace. It's smaller than a few of the other palaces you've been in, because you have a, a repertoire now at this point. You've been in four, I think? Between Yuboa, Altairi, Bade Step. Mm. This is the fourth one. I thought there was I thought there was a fourth, but I'm You've been to at least three. We've been to the manor for Drenus. Ah, that's just a big house. Um, but yeah, so like it's smaller than the, the, the castles you've been in. It is a bit bigger than Drenus's like manor. So there are wings of it, but there is not like, like you're not going to get lost wandering around here in parts of the castle and everything. Um, you do find your way out to another balcony, one that's higher than the other one. It's not like an entrance balcony, it's an actual standing balcony. You get some fresh air as you stretch and everything, and you look out. There aren't any stars out here at night, because there is no stars in the sky of the plane of air. There's just clouds swirling in the distance. It's almost like a Van Gogh painting. Like, it's almost like the, just the spinning clouds of color out in the dark. Yeah. As you're sitting there, just kind of like leaning against a railing, looking out into the distance. It's just a... Doing all right? Oh. Uh. Turn, Raiden's just there. Hi. How, how did the... 
things with Twinkle? Uh, Twink is a uh, very intelligent. He's also a uh, he's kind of a dick. Yeah, yeah. He's a he lot. has some sort of plan. We worked up with it. I'll give you the whole rundown when we give it to the group tomorrow. Okay. We. How'd everything go to you? All of you we... came back alive, so. Mm -hmm. It 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 went well. Um, the nameless is okay. She's injured, but by morning she'll be fine. Um, and we got rid of two-thirds of their weapons. That's and, good. Because they had, like, an armory section, and then also we, uh, I think we got all of the airships. All of them were on fire. And, or, not all of them, but Dulles took care of the ones that weren't on fire. I, so. From what I remember, they tried to not keep all of them docked at once, but any that you destroyed are better than none. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Less weapons, less modes of transportation. We didn't Easier quell any of the numbers. When they show up. Yeah. Hopefully less show up. You doing okay? Ah, I think as okay as I can be. It's a lot. It's been a lot these past 12 hours. You know, coming back yeah. here, seeing you again, seeing Kaeli again, and, you know, the, the prospect of fighting me again, a me that's stronger and, I guess, misguided? Yeah, that's a pretty accurate way of describing her. Mm hmm Strong, misguided, lethal. Oh, very lethal. She... she has Harmon's gun. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't tell you that, did I? No, you didn't. I didn't know telling you Harmon... she had Harmon's gun, I didn't know if that would be relevant to you. I didn't know if you even knew Harmon had a gun. Oh, we... we knew. She... She's the reason Harmon's crippled. Uh, what do you mean? He can't use his legs. Yes, he can. No, he can't. I saw him walking earlier today. Don't fuck with me. I'm I'm not. He did have a wheelchair. Thought he just used it to roll around because he could. Lotus, I've died. I've been killed. I've had parts of my body severed off and then I wake up fine. Harmon, Harmon's legs work. Right. Good to know. Don't know if we should tell Twink because Twink was the one who made that. Yeah, he you brought, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you broke his spine, he was probably out for like a few, maybe a few days, a few weeks, maybe. <laughs> you can, you Those can legs sure as hell ain't working tomorrow morning. <laughs> I, don't tell, I promise you that. Ah, man. Harmon is just an enigma. But yeah, uh, when he, when Nameless came and kidnapped Archibald, uh, she crippled Harmon and killed Eggold. Um. Eggold's the one who punched me, right? Yeah. I like him. Oh, that, that's good. Yeah, you know, sticks up for his friends. Pretty good. Mm hmm We bully him all the time. It's very he's fun. He's got a real me. shit punch. Yeah, I mean, he's just a guy, so... Yes. Fair. Yeah. So, big you, fight uh, tomorrow. Or the next day, or day after. What? Soon. Soon. I mean, depending on the damage you did, it might be a few days. Hmm. That'd be good. Or she might, you know, be so mad that she just attacks us outright tomorrow with whatever she can gather. 
kind of a coin toss with you. Uh, depends on how good people are in convincing me, I think. Well, I was trying to convince her of things for a while, and she only sort of listened to me, so... Yeah. I mean, I think if I was angrier, then I would only listen to half of the things important people would tell me, and not listen to irrelevant people at all. When Dole is gone, I'm pretty much the only relevant person she sees anymore. Yeah. Well, with other Dole is gone. Sorry, it's a weird situation. It's okay. Um, we were pretty disconnected when we um, took care of him. That was the first Star Lost that we ran into, and I thought it was just somebody who looked like him. It wasn't until a few days later that I learned it was him. Sort of. You couldn't have known. No. Oh. It's not something you should keep yourself up at night about. I think it's something that keeps Dolus up at night. That's what makes Dolus better than... A lot of the people I met, he's, he's too nice. First time I took him out hunting, he did not want to kill a damn thing. <laughs> that sounds about right. And eventually he sort of put a wall up and, and you know, got to kill these things to eat, got to eat to live. Mm-hmm. So. He, um, the mask that you gave us, he... I don't know if he still does it. I haven't seen him do it, but he used to at least scratch in a little mark for whoever he kills. Um, I think the first time was a Sahagin that came and uh, ambushed us, sort of. I don't think he meant that one. Iliac, uh, Iliac did the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Now... I don't know. There's something weird going on with him. And... I don't want to pressure him into telling me, but it's... It's kind of getting on my nerves. And I feel awful for feeling that way. You just ask him. You'd also ask the all-powerful genie who's currently flitting around the castle who definitely knows everything about everybody who's in here. Yeah, but... Not all-powerful, but you know what I mean. Very, very powerful. I... After I made sort of a... Not really a deal, but Kylie helped me out a little bit. Um, we kind of made a promise with each other to tell each other everything. And sometimes it was really hard. Sometimes there were things that I couldn't really tell him. Um, and I know he did his best to tell me when things came up as well, like when his arms start turning green, but it feels like with whatever is going on with him right now, he's just completely put up a wall. And I don't Very want sorry. to. Oh, go. I was <laughs> going to say, sorry to break the tension, but I'm hearing a weird buzz when you talk. Is that, am I the only one hearing that? Or is that? No, you're not. A Speak. weird oh. buzz? Hello? Oh, that sounds like you got like a period. fan or something blowing directly at your mic. Yeah, it was like, mm, mm, like quietly when every time you talked. Speak for a prolonged period of time. Yeah. Hello, I am always very bad at saying things for prolonged periods there, of time. There, but it's really given... a lot quieter now. 
It's I think it's your fridge. Uh, I think it's the idle noise of your fridge behind you. Got it. it might have also been my computer because my microphone was right next to my computer. Oh, and you moved your mic and it's quieter. And now. I moved my mic. Being. So yeah, but it's it's quieter now, so it's not as noticeable now. I just for a second I thought it was me because my speakers get weird sometimes, but mm -hmm. glad to know I'm not crazy. Anyways, emotional soliloquy. Continue, please. <laughs> Where did I? Fuck. Uh, he was really good at telling you things for a while, but then he oh, recently he... put up a wall. Yeah, recently put he... up a wall. That was it. He recently put up a wall, and I don't want to keep. I don't want to push him in any way, and have him solidify the wall. And also, it seems like he hasn't told Alina about it. And so, if it's something that he's keeping from both me and Alina, then it must be huge. I'll, um, I'll talk to him. In the morning, I'll talk to him. Nothing like good talk with your da to, you know, sort of get you settled. He'll either tell me or at least I can give him advice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Got a lot going on, though. So, you know, some people just lock up when that happens. Yeah. And they don't tell people things that they should and keep people away. They shouldn't keep away. I'm sorry that I sent you two off and that I didn't find you again. A whole lot of these problems would have been avoided if I had. So I think everything would have been avoided. We never would have gotten on that boat to begin with. Yeah, well, I mean, you just would have had two less Star Laws to worry about. Yeah. Granted, I mean, you know, Martin's plan might have still been happening. Whole world might still be ending. The three of us just might not know about it. There would have... There wouldn't have been me to deal with, at least. True. We might have had to be fighting socks here in the Elemental Plane of Air. Is his huh. name, right? Socrates? Yeah, Socrates and Shoes. Or evil Twink. Oh, we dealt or with the, him. Or the little Kieran one. Oh, we haven't dealt with him. I don't really know what his deal was. I never really knew what Kieran's whole deal was. Like, he was nice. Oh, weird. But we are all kind of weird, so... He gave me before, bread. Before, he looks... Just like Nobelia. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Very strange. Don't know. But, mistakes aside, I think it's sort of fate wound me up here. Mm hmm I think, maybe, regardless of what happened, you might have been roped back into all of this. Yeah, just sorry that you got roped in with me. Both yeah. of you. I All mean, you. I mean, I was kind of, sort of, weird time things, reason why I was birthed, because I died, mm -hmm. and then... Oh, yeah, and so if I hadn't done that mistake, you guys might have never been born. Yeah. Suddenly I feel validated in all of my decisions. I've done nothing wrong, he says kind of like <laughs> jokingly. <laughs> <laughs> he pats you on the shoulder and he's like, glad to be of service. <laughs> Always. Puts a hand on your shoulder and kind of like does the half hug. You guys both look out at the sky. Meanwhile, back in the rooms, two things happen. First, the nurse, after checking in on Dolas and Alina, Alina's like, we're good, and steps out, and then checks in on Lotus. Lotus isn't there. And then peeks in to Hush's room, literally opens the door and is like, is there anything I can do for you? And then there's just the <laughs> coming off of Hush and she just closes the door slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Dolis and that, Alina's uh, room. As like the lady closes the door, like the, the sound of the door clicking, it's like the moment of like 
when you're having like a dream and like you fall down the stairs or something and you like sit up in like a like a flash door it's just <clears throat> Alina, Alina. Uh, uh, you like scare sorry. her she's like oh, yeah 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 sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i like pull her mm -hmm, into a mm -hmm. hug I'm like i'm okay you're like kind of slurry because you're still tired you're like oh, it's, it's fine it's fine <laughs> so i'm so sorry can you send a message to our lashna uh, kylie told me something about her earlier she's, i might have some advice for what's happening just ask her to visit me in my dream Okay, I'll do, I'll do that. Just go back to bed, okay? Like, no. Like, do it now. Okay, just fine. Sentence. <laughs> You're, like, sitting there, like, half awake waiting for the response. She's like... He says, after I'm done beating up the twins, sure. <laughs> oh, just fall back. <laughs> You're just like, perfect. <laughs> Nalina again just like closes her spell book, puts it back on the nightstand, and just pulls the blankets up and snuggles up with you. Okay. Cryo, I have a question. Oh yes. Is this the first time I'm getting trained since the weapons have become engine made? Correct. Great. In your dream they're not gonna do a whole lot though. That's <laughs> fair, but you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so Lotus, you and Raiden sit out there and everything looking out at the sky everybody has their little moments Annie, you eventually enter your trance after you eat your fucking buffet full of food that is given to you <laughs> fucking I forgot he was wearing that I'll never forget about the hat, it's amazing um and Everybody takes a nice deep breath. They take a long rest. And somewhere way out in those skies, a very angry other Lotus prepares for what she thinks is going to be the final fight of her life. And you all level up. I knew it. Oh, what? Yes! <laughs> we level up? Yep. Uh, You're going to yeah. go into the siege one level higher. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our session. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a good time. Uh, yeah, everybody, uh, I hope it was a, a pleasant experience for everybody. I Pretty hope baller. you're all excited for another siege. This is the second time we've had a siege that you guys get to be a part of. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah, uh, maybe one day you guys will lay siege for some, like to somebody instead of just it being siege. <laughs> but for now, everybody gets a nice little rest. Some people will have lovely dreams next time, and you can see those dreams next week, Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern or Fridays if you're one of our Kofi supporters, where you get to watch the episodes early and get access to all sorts of cool little content on the side. But for now, we are all gonna go get rests of our own. So, bye bye. <laughs>